Can yeah. you do an Adam Ray impression? Please. I've only seen Ben Glebe, Dana Carvey, and my brother try it. Oh, that's Mary it? Mary Fuck Kill, by the way. Only uh, Ben Glebe and yeah. Dana Carvey <laughs> can do it. And my brother. <laughs> and your brother. That's a lot of people. But no, that have tried <laughs> to do it oh, to me, tried to my to face. Do it. Dana Carvey was like, hey, I'm Adam Ray. Hey, hey. He goes, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. No way. Oh, cool, man. Am you, I bleeding? Your lip is bleeding. Oh, yeah. Are you okay? I felt like myself just scratched myself with my nail. I thought oh. it was. Is a it bad? Chab, this yeah. is a side effect of Celsius, I think. It's like instant <laughs> lip bleeding. And then I just, I was like, I think I'm bleeding. But I was like, I'm going to go off of their faces. And, and now you guys are. we both looked at, and we both looked at. I did notice both yeah. your eyes start to trail. <laughs> You're like, oh they're both God. looking at my mouth. I'm either bleeding and they're falling in love. Oh, <laughs> What's happening? At the oh, same time. Oh, my God. Oh. Hey, it's Herbert. Hey, all you cats and kittens, Adam Ray here for the About Last Night podcast. Thanks for coming back to the show. Click subscribe right there. Subscribe on iTunes and Spotify and enjoy the show. Today's episode is, uh, you know, what else can you say? A couple of gems, a couple of legends. We got Taylor Tomlinson and we got Kelsey Cook, a couple of comedic wizards. Taylor's got a couple of Netflix specials out, Look at You and Quarter Life Crisis, Kelsey has specials, albums, and a new special coming out, and we're going to put all the info right here, called The Hustler, uh, out on YouTube, and uh, you got to go check it out. Um, You can get it at KelseyCook.com. You can also then get it on YouTube after that. Either way, check both these gals out. They're hilarious. They're kind. They're quick, and uh, it was special to do a uh, a threesome pod. Um, we, uh, We covered it all, man. We got deep. We got silly. Um, you know, we cried, cried laughing. I don't think there were real tears. I don't know if I've cried real tears. That's not true. I cried at, uh, the Tom Hanks, a man as auto move. I cried throughout the whole thing. Hanks might be the only person other than like soldiers coming home early to surprise their kid videos. That'll just like get me right out of the gate. So shout out to Hanks. Um, but shout out to Taylor Tomlinson and Kelsey Cook for stopping by and crushing this episode. I can't wait for you guys to enjoy it. So again, follow them on Instagram and Twitter. We'll put up those handles right here. Subscribe to the About Last Night podcast and uh, go see them on the road. TTomComedy.com for Taylor, KelseyCook.com for their tour dates. They're all over the place. AdamRayComedy.com for my tour dates. Uh, thank you to everyone that came out to Batavia Uh, Illinois, the Comedy Vault, one of my new favorite spots. A blast. Fucking great shows. Clips to come. Um, This weekend, uh, I am uh, all around Los Angeles, so come see me. Ice House, Comedy Store, Improv, Laugh Factory, all in L.A. And the next weekend, oh boy, going back to my favorite club, The Punchline in San Francisco, March 1st through the 4th. Tickets at AdamRayComedy.com. Levity Live Oxnard, March 9th through the 11th, and then uh, a whole bunch after that. Um, t- fucking uh, s- s- uh, Austin, t- s- uh, San Diego, d- uh, Detroit, uh, Atlanta, Seattle, uh, Portland with the Impractical Jokers, and just on and on until I think October we're booked up through. So come out and see me, adamraycomedy.com for all those tickets. Boston, Philly, we added um, uh, Madison. Uh, cannot wait. Young Rock on NBC, Fridays. Oh, welcome to Chippendales on Hulu and... Um, and uh, and I think that's it for now. So enjoy the episode. Have a blast. Give yourself a fucking me hug today, or you know, or or some me time. You know, whether that means putting you know, dipping these into something and putting them in into you, or um, or just you know, a cheat treat. You know, maybe a Dairy Queen Blizzard is what you need to turn your day around. Do it, man. You deserve it. I got real Doctor Philly. He retired, so I guess I'm trying to like carry on his um <laughs> you know carry on his legacy you know because if you can't carry yourself okay then maybe you don't give a fuck about about you know enjoy the episode guys welcome back to the show 
I don't start like that, but it felt. But getting your guys' laugh made me feel like that was the end of the monologue. And now it's time to start the show. Nothing goes here. Um, wait, so you don't drink. Uh, thanks for being here, by the way. Thanks for having we us. We just talked about how this is like a little sleepover-esque because yeah. 8 p.m. is... It feels like a slumber party. It does. Yeah. I uh, hate that I'm not wearing... Um, and I did get off. sweatshirt? Yeah, yeah. That would have been cool. It would have been cool if we came and you were yeah. like, I have one too. And if yeah. I was wearing... It's a guy. Is that how I sound? Uh, <laughs> but, uh, okay. I'm, uh, I'm bad at impressions. No, I don't think you are. Like I you. think you're a person who says that, but like you probably have five or six locked no, and loaded. No, I really don't. She just says it after she accidentally hurt somebody's feelings. Like what just happened? <laughs> you're like, I don't... Know. So I don't do voices. Like, oh, don't feel not. bad. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't trying to do you because I can't. Like I'm actually... You're an actor. That's like, that's what you guys do is impersonate. Wait, but, You're not a loser. Yeah. I'm untalented. That's what it is. Um... Wait, have there ever been anyone that you've, like a teacher or a friend growing up that you were like, oh, I can do their voice? Like, no. even if you mimicked it back like you just did, no? No, I can't do anyone's voice. Can you do an impression of anyone? I feel like you can. I feel like you can. I yeah. mean, I've been like, nah, oh, God, it's been so long, and I don't feel like they're Who good. was it? I don't like being put on the spot. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Impressions when you're put We yes. aren't moving on with this podcast <laughs> until you ante up your impersonations that- you have. <laughs> You're so good at impressions. I mean, a handful. This I don't is even consider myself terrifying to try and do no. that in front of you. Oh, really? I feel like uh, I used to be able to do an Owen, an Owen Wilson a little bit. Awesome. But it's not. It's not good. Everyone can, can kind of do an Owen Wilson, yeah. and that's a great name for your next special, Taylor. Don't uh, yeah. wanna <laughs> push it on you, but everyone has an Owen Wilson. I'd click on that. That's a good I, everyone has an too. Owen Wilson. I mean, yeah. you're blonde. That's like half the battle right there. True. Nice. That's true. Yeah. A little wave in my hair. Yeah. Did you do an Adam Ray impression? Please. I've only seen Ben Glebe, Dana Carvey, and my brother try it. Oh, that's Mary it? Mary Fuck Hill, by the way. Only uh, Ben Glebe and yeah. Dana Carvey <laughs> can do it. And my brother. <laughs> and your brother. That's a lot of people. But no, that have tried <laughs> to do it oh, to me, tried to my to face. Do it. Dana Carvey was like, hey, I'm Adam Ray. Hey, hey. He goes, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. No way. Oh, cool, man. Am you, I bleeding? Your lip is bleeding. Oh, yeah. Are you okay? I felt like myself just scratched myself with my nail. I thought oh. it was. Is it bad? Chab, this is a side effect of Celsius, I think. It's like <laughs> instant lip bleed. By the way, <laughs> is it? It's a significant. Am I bleeding a lot? No. It's like. It's enough. It's enough. It's enough. You know what's so crazy about this is it's definitely the Celsius. It's the Celsius. It's probably um, the dry. I felt myself scratch myself, and then I just I was like I think I'm bleeding, but I was like I'm gonna go off of their faces. And, and now you guys both are, looked at, and we both looked. I did notice both yeah. your eyes start to trail. <laughs> You're like, oh they're both God. looking at my mouth. I'm either bleeding and they're falling in love. Oh, <laughs> What's happening at the oh, same time? Oh, God. Because <laughs> both of your eyes did settle on a spot where I was like, what's going on with my tip with the tip with the, are my nostrils? Did I do something different? No, no you're so bleeding, you freak. A podcast to oh. be also. I don't have my glasses on, so for a second I just was like, oh, maybe he just has like a like a lip set that I didn't notice. A yeah. Lip set, another yeah. great special title, Taylor. Lip set. <laughs> lip set. What? Oh God. See now, I have two choices here: trust and hope Persevere. that my pals are gonna look it around. Looks better it. now. It's like it stopped. Boy, it's I've dumb. seen Just that face dabbing. before. That was like we'd Hold use on. that take. You say you're not an actor. We'll use that take <laughs> in the kids movie yes. where you're like the parent of the kid, and one of them comes up and they like fell off a bike, and they're like face like that, and you're like, looks better now. Like after they like comb their hair a certain way to, to yeah. like, is it? Yeah. Can you not see? You're like, it looks better. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> oh man, yeah, just keep dabbing at it. Yeah, hold That's it. All. Just hold it on there for like ten seconds, kind of hard. Put some pressure on it. Yeah, you're gonna be a great mom. You are gonna be. Oh, right? you're a great That's cat right. mom. Yeah, I am a good cat mom. I will say. Such a That's good a cat. thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Can you? Do, you can have bad. I mean, cat. You can be a bad cat mom. For sure. But then, why did you get a cat? People don't understand the responsibility. They don't. <laughs> They don't. But and we I thought, thought, you said that so seriously. I believe you and I'm not laughing at <laughs> like, like I bathed them with my own mouth <laughs> is how I said that. Listen. It's it's a dedication. <laughs> it's not. It's fine. But I I I do, you know, and I've busted your balls about having cats. Yeah. I have no problem with cats, just my sister's cat and I and by the way, tell me at any point if it just starts Kay. to like become a real We'll just go we'll just go like this. I love that. Yeah. Real quick, are you guys the people that will tell a friend if they got Yeah <laughs> if their lip is profusely <laughs> bleeding? <laughs> no, if they have food in their this teeth. Is a good test. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 I think so. I think that is a good test. I feel like that's the same person that will say thank you if you hold the door for them. Yeah. Uh huh. That's yeah, like yeah. probably at the top of my list. I know your next question was gonna be like, Adam, what are your pet peeves? Tell me the pet peeves. <laughs> But truly, like, I think that's a great, like, you're either this person or not. If it, unless you're like, 
you got a bunch of shit going on, you're like Anne Hathaway in, in um, uh, Devil Wears Prada, and you're coming in with like coffees and bags, and like <laughs> you don't you have. Should especially say thank you. I think. Wow, good call. Right? Yeah. I mean, I don't. Point for I Taylor. Look at Kelsey, whoever what's your it? argument? What's that? <laughs> I. Th- <laughs> I Got think it. LA is such a trash fire of people in terms of manners. <laughs> like moving from in Spokane, manners, yeah. to Seattle to LA. Uh, years Spokane ago. was mannerfied. It really was. It's I, nice people. It's I've a very never Midwest vibe. One thousand percent. Yeah. And you felt culture shock down there. I've had some of the rudest shows at Spokane Comedy Club. That's true, but that's just, oh, was it the sixth or the gross. ninth <laughs> show that you added? <laughs> That you felt the disrespect, Taylor. Dear God, can I borrow fifty grand? By the way, all right. Um, yeah. Oh God. Yeah. You know, I think it was on the fifth. It was the hundred thousand ticket I sold, where I was like, I, these people. These people were need, chewing their popcorn. So is it bleeding? Do you need, no. Do you need fifty grand? Is the Rock? Not yeah, you were. Yeah, we're the waiting for a season and, four. We're waiting yeah, for a season the four. The last person. Oh um, the last but, person who needs fifty grand. Yeah. That's well, what everyone says about you. I go, Adam Ray, the last guy who needs fifty. Oh, then they grand. must not see the money <laughs> yeah. I give to my family. Hi, <laughs> sister and dad, and nieces and nephew. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, this okay. is a really spiteful turn. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, oh, we uh, actually uh, hit a nerve. We're already there. Yeah. Um, uh, wait, so... Um, we're talking you, about opening doors. Yes. Moving to LA, that was the first time I experienced holding doors for people, g- going into a Starbucks, and people just blowing right by you. Wow. Like you didn't exist. First and taste. crazy to me, yeah. Didn't well, like it? they're a star. Ugh. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, and stars say thank you to no one, Kelsey. Yeah. <laughs> um, the they look you in the eye and go, damn right. <laughs> That door, I'm surprised that door didn't open by itself. I'm Tom Sizemore. I'm going to need you to wait know. here until I, I get back. I don't know. It's a deep cut. You don't know who that is? No. I'm surprised. You ever see Heart and Souls no. with Robert Downey Jr.? No. Where he can see all the dead people is. and he's like, oh my goodness, there's everyone's dead. And now I can see, see them. It's such a good So now I'm like, I'm, I saw this guy get killed. Charles Grodin's in the movie from Beethoven. He was the dad. He wasn't the dog in Beethoven. He obviously wasn't the dog, but he could sound like a dog. I don't know if he can do a dog. Oh my, oh my God. God. See? Okay, so that one's so good. I've got that. I've got, you know, some Dr. Phil, clearly, you know, probably the go-to. You know, on today's show, he's got Down syndrome, but an upbeat <laughs> attitude. Please say hello to Anthony. He's going to come up here and do a Sudoku. And then, you know, I can do you're, kind of a Dean Del Rey, and then, like, you know, a Paul. I mean, I don't know. So you like can a do few, a lot. But then it's like, yeah, not you're a lot. Not a, not a true, bananas. not a true, like, you know, gangster. Let me ask you this. Okay. When you got to L.A. from Spokane, yeah. and when you got to L.A. from San Diego... Right? Sure. Temecula. Right. Yeah, sure. I always know that, but I always get them, I always forget which one you were truly born and raised in. Uh, I mean, I wasn't born and raised in either, technically. I grew up in like Stockton, Modesto until I was like 10. Whoa. Then Temecula. I'm from a bunch of lame places, <laughs> as it turns out. Yeah, but well, do, you rep them with, do you rep them all with pride? Sure. Like, do you think we... That was like, definitely the... Same. Yeah, that I was... was with a lot of pride. I don't, I don't rep Temecula with pride at all. Definitely I mean, does not. a lip start bleeding on its own? I mean, you know, <laughs> look, I rep it as much as I can. Yeah, how are we doing, by the way? I'm just going to give a it's quick check. It's getting better. It's great. Yeah. Okay. You know what? It happened you, in Oh, good... you guys are so supportive, by the way. The way you both just delivered that made me go like, okay, so I can go outside <laughs> to the dance. Um, you cut it actually on a really perfect part of your lip because it's right at the top oh, of your cupid's best. bow so it actually just like accentuated your cupid's bow so your cupid's bow is the little, the little divot. divot so you the little got lip the divot little, we all got one i'm looking at your guys's on you guys got great lip divots no Thank that's not you. what it's called that's what you say as you're getting carried off of the cheesecake factory <laughs> property I, you, like I said she of... got great lip divots i can't say that oh, oh me my too God. You know what's so funny? The last time I went to the Cheesecake Factory, yes. I saw a this fight. This is my favorite episode in a long time so far, by the way. And I knew it was going to be. Dude, we've had blood. <laughs> we've had blood, Celsius, <laughs> and fucking, and, and brothers being called out for their lack of gratitude. We've had Robert Downey Jr. We've had Robert Downey Jr. Everyone's been here. We've had lip divots. My friend Courtney and I went to the Cheesecake Factory, like, I don't know, a few months, maybe four or five months ago. Awesome. As a bit, like, we were like, God, Why you're so ever... rich. That's the <laughs> richest sentence that anybody's ever Great said. Great observation. I went to the Cheesecake Factory as, as a, a bit. bit. Oh. <laughs> I was literally just miracle? about to go. I went recently. Sure. How great were the salads? It's a miracle. I'm sucking that even, statement yeah, back yeah, down. Don't you dare. Oh, look at me no. trying to connect with the no. wealthy. Oh, God. <laughs> I felt like I was just trying to smell the cookies in first class, and she, in row five, pulled the curtain closed and goes, The chocolate chip, make a wish. And you're like, oh. Did you get the smell first class? I hope it tasted as good as your coach flotation device. <laughs> 
<laughs> For a guy who's bleeding out, I'm killing oh right God. now. <laughs> Didn't make a wish. Uh, Jesus Christ. Okay, sorry. All um, right, so tell no, us about we the peasant food that, that you, you stumbled upon. Becoming more yeah. and more unrelatable. Yeah. Hey, oh, no, right. it's okay. Okay, no, this is what <laughs> some of us still think. Some it's of us still think <laughs> it's a decent Valentine's Day <laughs> is coming up, and no, yeah, okay. maybe I considered it. <laughs> no, I didn't at all. No, I didn't, but. The, no, okay. Here's the thing. Because when, <laughs> all right, all right, when you're a kid, you think Cheesecake Factory is like the height of elegance, right? Yeah. And then as an adult, or you're an like, adult. this is yeah. just a or, fun time. No, yeah, okay. Was, all right, I was trying to fix it. Yeah. Fuck this. All right. So basically, we were like, we were like, Cheesecake Factory. Everyone makes fun of it, which is true, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They Thank do. you. Okay. I've definitely. Uh, well, let me ask you. You've got a. Uh, Everyone's great... acting like I'm the only one who's ever made fun of Cheesecake Factory. This is a thing that happens. It is. You're right. Out there in the world, you on re- the internet, it's, it's a happening. great. It's been referenced in many a jokes as the blah blah yes. blah Cheesecake Factory. Like you and your for, special. For look sure. at you streaming on Netflix. Thank yes. you. Reference Panera, which I have also. Did I? Oh yeah, it cool. was you and a um, get it. Were you with the um with the mom that was uh, saying about uh with giving you uh, talking about the straight dude and uh she was like almost gandalfing oh, you yes yes yes, yes. oh I you did. said you're saving my life in a panera yeah and it was like True great story. great reference it, thanks it, panera was Panera's it in the panera yeah it was in a panera well that makes it even better because that yeah. to me i was like great joke location is what i thought oh no that's just real awesome can't take can't take credit for that anyway my point is people make fun of cheesecake factory and me and my friend courtney were like Everyone makes fun of Cheesecake Factory, but Cheesecake Factory is good, right? And we're like, yeah, Cheesecake Factory is good. And Dustin and I had gone to it on the road once, and we yeah. were like, thank God this was open. This was amazing. Yes. We had like a great night there. Oh, yeah. And so Courtney and I went to one in like at the Irvine Spectrum. Yes. And like we went in, and just from the get go, we were like, why is everything decorated like the Eye of Sauron? Like, why is that <laughs> everywhere? Why is it? This is, but we're like, <laughs> it's so little. fun. This is good. <laughs> they get our orders wrong. Like, they brought her the wrong meal, and when she goes, this is the wrong meal, he just went, oh, do you want, do you want me to, I heard this, and she was like, no, I said this, and he goes, do you want me to remake it, and she goes, no, it's okay, and just ate it. We she were just like, ate a completely different meal? She just ate a completely, completely different, not even That's close. Trust. Oh, Completely God. different meal. Yeah. <laughs> and then the real kicker is that two dads got in a screaming, yelling fight right next to our table. Cheesecake Factory is a hot bed of dad hot fights. bed of dad fights <laughs> always because i guess the one Your dad, dad you're going there for a good time you clearly <laughs> haven't looked at any yelp reviews because all dads are fighting at cheesecake <laughs> the, i mean this guy i guess there was one of the other dad how much for potato skins <laughs> the other dad had hit i don't even love you had opened the bathroom door. speaking of opening doors bringing it back around yeah opened the bathroom door hit the guy the other guy's kid in like the head on the way out of the bathroom oh. and didn't, didn't see say him. anything. Oh. I don't know if he didn't say anything, but he didn't see him. Okay. And this guy came up to him with his crying kid, like, you hit my kid with the bathroom door. And the guy's like, oh man, I'm so sorry. I didn't see him. Cool. And he was like, that's unacceptable. You hit my kid. And he was like, I'm really sorry, dude. I didn't see him. Mm. Oh. I don't know what else to do. And he's like, this is crazy. And that guy just needed to, he, yeah. wa- he, was, he looking was looking for, for a it. reason. People, yeah. And they had to take them both outside. Let me ask you this. Jeez. Is it a consistent thing? Because I feel like a lot of dudes are looking. When you see a guy in a bar fight or even like, you know, I saw uh, this guy at uh, Burbank Airport chase a woman down. He was what? wearing the vest. He was like the oh. security guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm bad at setting up stories. Yeah, I give you like the most the frantic details. <laughs> like, and then I'm like, oh, no, no, it was just, uh, it was fine. They knew each yeah. other. <laughs> no, but he was where he was like the the parking lot attendant guy, and she I guess you know ran across this. They're they're really trying to be serious with like these are the lanes you can yeah. walk through, drive through, and uh, and she ran across to her Uber and she was you know frankly trying to get in, yeah. and he just he's like hey what are you doing like I should give you a ticket you can't just run across. She's like I'm so sorry. She was clearly like I'm so sorry about one and trying to get everything in the Uber, and then he goes don't just walk away from me. <gasps> And then I was like, oh, God, this guy, like, something. And I always give a little benefit of the doubt because I'm like, <laughs> what just happened? Maybe you got a shitty text. Like, what's going on? Like, sure. you never know. But he was so aggressive. And then she uh, she tried to get around to the front of the car. And he walked in front of the Uber <gasps> and was like, stop in the name. And just stopped and was like, you're not going anywhere. I should what? give you a ticket. And I was like, and I almost Ooh. spoke up. But, um, yeah. but my wife give? hates when I do that. And I was about to be like, hey, guy, stop being a dick. She's yeah. clearly going, you know, yeah. like, there's no need for this. Yeah. You already told her, you know. So my question is, 
Can they give you tickets at the Burbank Airport? I know. You think it's such a Willy Wonka's factory of like freedom and like oh my God. no circum uh, no um, uh, consequences. Consequences. Yeah. It feels like a lot of Dwight Schrute energy yeah. at the yes. Burbank Airport. It's that like playground monitor. Yeah. Like given a small vest and then taken over their mind. Yeah. Because it's, yeah. like it's such an easy stuff. like you show up, you hang out for a little bit, and then you're on the plane walking outside. It just it doesn't feel like a real airport. No, sometimes. it's like a little toy True. airport. Yeah, True. but it's when you're flying airport. out of like it's those a Hot Wheels it's airport. A Hot Wheels airport. airport. Yeah. Oh my God, were you a Hot Wheels yeah. kid? It's the I mean, Hot Wheels Burbank Airport. Listen, was my family into foosball? <laughs> we spent a lot of time at McDonald's. Wow, <laughs> those are all the happy. Wow. Now it's McDonald's uh, for your next bit, Taylor. When you want to go up. there, it's a. You know what? There's a clown. I don't know if, how you feel. About oh my god! You know what? As we've established, people shit on Cheesecake Factory. They and do. We went as like it it's good, true. right? It's not. It wasn't. It yeah, wasn't. I, I don't think I would die on the hill for it. No, it's true. I feel like it's one of those restaurants too that as you get older, it gives you pretty bad indigestion. One thousand yeah. percent. But when you're a kid, you can handle it, and you're like, "This is." Fun. Kids are I'm so amazing. goddamn but resilient, now it's huh? Like, kids like options, and that is just that's like if you want to make Great a call. decision. Between a lot of choices, that's yeah. where you go. Although I feel like I've taken my nephew there a handful of times, and he always gets the same shit. And I, and I, I go in with that very reason. I'm like, dude, you got like 16 pages to pick from. Yeah. And he's like, chicken nuggets and macaroni. I'm like, you didn't even look at the menu, <laughs> and that's not even on it. But that's an interesting psychology behind it. Is like that's too overwhelming for people. Yeah, it actually yeah, is like kids this, want simplicity, I just right? Need to, I need to get in and get out. Cheesecake Factory is like the dating app of <laughs> <Yes>. restaurants. <sighs> How I many? Like, that was in the. My album, actually. Now that I think about it, I completely forgot about that. Amazing. Ad. Called. You know what? People do shit on cheesecake. Called and where? Called and where oh. can people get it? Savor it. See, everyone Good forgets point. their bits. I know. It's not just me. Yeah. It's not an unrelatable thing. You no. just bury. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking just bury thank the you. bit. How much? Do you guys have? I have so many questions. I'm gonna try to stay on course. I had like four <laughs> different follow up questions in that last moment. But are there bits that you guys will when you're on the road and both crushing it? By the way, selling out shows. Getting just, you know, everything's, it's awesome. Very uh, pumped and proud of, of you guys. You um, too, man. But uh, we're, we're always this, for all this is success. about you guys. <laughs> um, but I have debts to collect on my sister and dad. <laughs> um, no, you guys, um, and all your, just, you can tell too from, I, there's a handful of people that, that you like, um, you know, get to know that I'm like, man, I wish I was in the same city so I could pop in and watch a full show. Because, you know, you just yeah. get clips of stuff yeah. and we're always kind of missing each other at clubs, which just happens. But, um. Uh, the name of your album and where people can get it again. Say it again. Oh, gosh. Well, savor it. Yeah. But it's old. My new special is coming out yes. in two weeks, and that's called The Hustler. That'll be out soon. Whoa. So I would rather push. Nobody needs to listen to Savor It. I mean, it's fine, but like what? people need to, don't need to look it up. I mean, but if it's uh, if you weren't proud of it, you'd take it down, or would you no, not? I'm, I'm proud of yeah. it. It's just, You've just I, grown. Yeah, it's just so And that was my like question. different me i'm coming back to the special okay so when you're on the road and you're doing you guys seem like you're pretty uh and correct me if i'm wrong like you've you work in the hour and once you get it to where it is is it more or less like you're on staying on course throughout your whole show being like this is what i've constructed and what i'm doing or will you know this will happen to me sometimes you know um in in doing crowd uh you know over the uh course of the the hour and change where something will come up and it'll pull up a bit that maybe I've never recorded or that I don't do anymore, um, and I'll and I'll go into it because it fits perfectly with what's happening. They'll get re- like you'll get requests or it'll no just no, no it'll up. just happen from oh. like like I have all these jokes when I was in a long distance relationship that I just never seen the light of day, but they still you know have stayed. I still have a decent memory to be able to pull them up and not go. Oh, how did that go? Oh, so if you do crowd work with someone who's like we're in a long distance relationship and it comes like, up organically and it's not like yeah. the first thought of like, oh, I'm going to go into this, but like it gets so specific that, that it triggers that in me yeah. to where right. I feel connected to it. And then I'm like, oh, and then it comes up. So then then it's just a quick moment of, you know, should I do it or not do it? But yeah. does that happen to you guys or are you that like you said, you know, I, I kind of bury it or you once you do it and lay it down, you're done. Did that make sense? It does. Am I still bleeding? Sense. No, <laughs> no. <you're not> bleeding. <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is how precious are you with your stuff? And if you do find yourself in a moment, because I've seen you both play off the crowd and you're both great. So it, when it does happen, if that did occur, mm-hmm. would you go, oh, yeah, I have this that I don't really do anymore or did from an old thing? Or are you like, no, I already did it. I think I just asked the same thing twice. No, yeah. it's okay. No, okay. I think it was good. Um, do you want to go first or should I go first? You can go first. Okay. So hoping you'd go for no, I'm kidding. I <laughs> <laughs> we're too polite. I well, it's so different now because now I feel like 
these stray lines and shorter bits like mm-hmm. we talk about this all the time that maybe don't make the hour the current hour we just end up putting on social media to promote live shows yeah so right. then you're like okay well if that does well i burned it but you really don't like that's what i've been realizing lately i think we we talk about mm-hmm. this a lot like i started doing a bit that i posted on social media like i don't know a couple years ago mm-hmm. and did pretty well on socials and i like remembered it and i'm like oh this would fit in here now like in the last month and right. i'm like awesome. oh this still works this is great and that's like how we all used to write is you'd save stuff yeah remember that yeah. when you just go oh. oh we have all this over here and we'll find a place <laughs> for it and we'll figure out how to put it all in and now you're like well this has no i'll just put it on instagram like i i'm kind of like worried that i'm not writing correctly anymore or i'm huh. like putting stuff out like half done or just like sure a just piece a, of something that could be bigger wow yeah. and going like Not well that's it online cook a little bit more yeah, yeah. or yeah. okay so thinking that it's online now so that it's it's seen it's yeah but it's people not. have seen it yeah if it's if it's in like a special i've never yeah. put on an album so i don't i think an album's different i think you could totally do stuff from an album still I but from so. a special yeah. also let me I ask you this wouldn't. do you think i mean and yeah a lot of a Netflix special, a lot of people are seeing, and yours yeah. especially. Yeah. But do you think, and I know like, I think Sebastian has said this where he doesn't completely retire stuff because he's like, I don't think everyone's seen it. And like, he's not doing 30 minutes of old stuff in a new uh, run, but uh, he was saying certain bits that he's like, why would I stop doing that if like it was requested or just if he wanted to do it, like not feeling yeah. like he had to you yeah. know, hit the pause button on it. That's interesting. Yeah, I think we talk a lot too about being overly concerned what other comics think of us versus Whoa. what is actually <clears throat> makes for the best show. Yeah. And um, so we do tend to go, okay, well that's out there, so I'm, I'm retiring that completely. Sure. That can never see the light of day again because if another comic saw that I had posted that as a yeah, clip, and it's that, what are they going to think? Or if you're comparing it to somebody that you like that doesn't do that, you're like, I got to do with that because that's my benchmark for like how things are supposed to go. Right. And I've had people come up in merch lines and I've gone into certain cities feeling a little self-conscious where it's like, oh, I was here nine months ago. Yeah. This isn't like a completely 100% sure. new hour. There's a few things that are still here and I will, I will be in my head as I'm telling yeah. those jokes like, oh man, I hope the people that came last year aren't feeling weird and they will come up in the merch line and go i'm so glad you did that joke and it will be the one from that they're like i brought my friends this time yeah. and as soon as you got into it i was elbowing them like oh this is the one yeah. I'm about. we forget that even though we have run the jokes a million times people hear them once and they go yeah. oh i love that i wish i could hear that again but we're not putting our stuff out like musicians are putting out songs where people are just like listening to it over and over one thousand that's a great point generally we'll see it once live and then maybe again if you put it in a special. Yeah. So yeah, I that has been my one New Year's resolution is to care less what people think, and Good I think you. in particular um, what comedians think. Yeah. Because I get really <clears throat> in my head, you know, posting crowd work clips, any sort of clips. You're always just like, oh, are people? How, how are other comics interpreting this? Is this up to snuff? It, and it's just like they're not the people coming to your shows. Yeah. yeah. Also, they're not you or tight it is a really crazy thing and it's easier said than done to wash that sentiment away i think that's just a human so trait ingrained. right yeah. like whether yeah. you're in our <laughs> business or not i think everyone struggles with that but it is crazy to think how worked up we can get at any point in our careers of like yeah those outside opinions that have no effect other than you just creating this uh you know um thought that they that that's I don't know. To, to to I was talking to Josh Wolf about this, and and mm-hmm. he was about p- some comedians that were busting his balls about what he like bring his son on stage or whatever, what? and doing stuff. a Q and A guitar yeah. stuff. He's like you know, and and somebody saying that he was like you're not even a guitar player. You just kind of picked it up and started whatever. But I'm like, and we and we talk about it, and I have seen it, and it's just like, and it just murders. And his the people that come to his shows love him yeah. and, and love that, that he's matters. doing that that's all that and it, and josh and he got really free of that like being yes. like hey man i'm fucking packing these shows out from Aust- australia and did it yeah and it's like it's not like he's up there playing 60 parodies but yeah. a few uh, whatever and it's also it's fun for him 
Yeah, um, if he was playing sixty parodies and yeah. people wanted to see that, I know, and it made them feel better yeah. for an hour and a half. I know. Fuck off! Isn't the stage? Yeah, we, isn't it supposed absolutely. to be whatever you want to do up there? It's There's supposed no... to be for the audience. Like yeah. that's like yeah. we're such fucking narcissists yeah. as comedians. Yeah. We're like, where's my art form? It's like, yeah, we're c- fucking entertaining people. Yeah, like whatever, make them laugh. Make them laugh. Make them like, laugh. Whatever people like, like Dustin and I talk about this a lot on the road. Where like once you realize how hard it is to sell tickets, I think you're just like so impressed with people selling yeah. tickets. Like, you, no is your mind just constantly blow? I mean, you are in a very crazy, just, right? Last couple of years, what would you say? A couple of years where you're like, yeah. this is getting crazy. Yeah. Where you're going, you're like doing like, I think you, I saw you were doing Ticket like 16 shows like in like Tel Aviv un- or like you were performing <laughs> every synagogue like cooler. north of Egypt. <laughs> you were, it was only one of Taylor, like which, <laughs> super offensive because I haven't even been there yet. And I was, you know, no, but like the amount of like adding shows, yeah. which you both done. Yeah. Um, and then add it like in a city where, I don't know how it goes too, if you get booked there and, and they're like, oh, we, we're going to do two shows in, um, you know, uh, Detroit. And then they're like, all right, those sold out. Do they kind of just hit you up and go, all right, those are done. Do you want to add more? Or yeah. are they like, <laughs> please, more money. Well, it's my team. Yes. So they're like, do you want to? It's not like the venue's asking me directly. Right. It's right. my rep saying, do you want to add a show? And here are the options. Like, you can either do a late show or you can do the night before or the night after. And usually it's the same night, right. which is a lot. But I've been trying to add another night. Yeah. So it's not as much. So you much. can stay in the city for a day, right? Yeah, and have that, just like to see something. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, because yeah. I feel like we're all so in and out, or it's like I don't know how you guys. And that's another question I had, but like your road routine. But if you do go to yeah. a city, we're you know often there for yeah a night, maybe two, and then maybe three. But it's I don't know. I'm not. I want to be better at like exploring in places mm-hmm. that even if I've been to them, I'm like, oh, I feel like I've, I I've seen everything. It's like, well, you probably went to one mall once and thought that you got the gist <laughs> of Minnesota, which yeah. you can. Yeah, you can. That is my and life. And you did. Now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I just went to Mall of Re- America for the first time. <laughs> you live there now. I do live there now. Congrats. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I don't know if congrats is the right word for it. Oh, it is. That airport's <laughs> great. I think Minnesota rules. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm yeah? giving it a hard time for no reason. I, I am really happy there. But Good. yeah, I mean, it, the winters are. It's, oh, yeah, the winters are we- bad. I just moved at a weird time. I moved in January. Right. Yeah. Crazy. Just like a psych. All out. All out. Well, but um, it's also setting the bar kind of low. I yeah. think when summer comes, poof. I'm going to love it even more. That so was the first time I went there was summer. I yeah. mean, you know, the outdoor. It's a city, too, I feel like, that thrives on the outdoor, um, you know, festivities. Yeah, There's a yeah. lot of, like, street walk stuff and shops. and Yeah. Such I sound a like a guy that's never been outside. I'm like, I, there's, like, some paintings outside. And <laughs> there's a guy with a hot dog thing. <laughs> it's a cart. Cart. It's a cart. It's, it's a, a cart, cart of hot dogs. <laughs> Wait, yeah. but, ta- uh, Taylor, so just because you're, you know, humble and uh, gracious and sweet, but give a real, I want to hear straight from you, like the last year and just, I've seen you post really, um, you know, nice videos about being like appreciative. Okay, but, like, good. I'm also, this is going off of like Kelsey's thing of we're worried about what other comics think of us. I'm always like, do I just seem like a, like no. a, like a, well, here's like the thing. Overly just like, it's all just tour, 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 tour. Like no. every post, like, I don't no, know. No, not at all. I'm, it's just. Well, I haven't seen you in a while and I, I, yeah. there's. Texting people compliment, I face to face for me is just always better with everything. So that's yeah. why I'm, you know, overly um, throwing the the compliments here because, like, just doing it. Th- I don't know. I just, you know, you just read it and you still can fill you up, but yeah. it's better to be like, you know, hey, yeah. look at my bleeding face and see <laughs> that I mean it. So yeah. no, it's not not all that. I don't feel like that way. But but when you um, and you both can answer this because you're both feeling it. Uh, are you just like, fuck yeah, or is it like? Man, all right, the grind. Like here we go. Like now, got to turn things up a notch. A little bit of both. Um, I would say. Do you want me to go first? Like to get emotional, you know what I'm saying? Of like, oh my god, I can't believe. Like, I remember that's usually what happens for me. If any sort of like growth thing, where I just go, I get flashback to like crappy shows, or yeah. not even crap. I don't want to say crappy shows. Shows, right? That like yeah. were a very necessary part of what we're doing, and but just the the grind and going home from like. You know, waiting at the comedy store for four hours and then not getting up or getting up and then still going home and being like, oh, fuck. And just knowing that feeling of like, all I want to do is be like, you know, not in this spot, right? Yeah. yeah. So, how often, I guess, are you maybe reflecting on that as oh, you're. Oh, we were reflecting on that up? on the drive here. Cool. I feel like we do it all the time, I think, to each other. Yeah. Of like, oh my God, this is crazy that it's like that we're not having to do some of the other things that we used to have to do. 
Yeah, I mean, we're on the phone pretty much every day, That's every awesome. other day. That's so and sweet. Yeah, we talk way more now that we live in different states yeah. than we did when we lived in the same That's state. weird how that happens? It's so weird how that happens, but it's like great. But like, yeah. yeah, we were talking about it on the way here of like, just like you said, like trying to get past it, the clubs here and like hoping you can go up at the improv and like wanting to crush so bad. And now we're like, <sighs> Do you want to go up? Should we ask if we can go? Do we want to do a set? I mean, they'll put us up. But, like, you know, you just <laughs> yeah. get, like, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to, it's such a big question, so I'm trying to, like, hit all of it. Of but, course. like, I got really emotional uh, a few weeks ago when we did, I did a f- few shows at the Chicago Theater, and that was, like, crazy because I was there on the Conan tour yep. in 2018. Yep. Uh, with a bunch of other mm-hmm. comics, and that that was specifically one where I remember going like, "Oh my god, like this is." You remember the last if, time you were there? Yeah, and it yeah. Was a what a milestone! A, it wasn't like, your yeah. show, but you were on it. Yeah, and so now it's yours, and you're doing. Yeah, yeah. And they were like, "Are you gonna sign the wall?" I'm like, "No, I didn't sell these tickets. Like, I'm not gonna sign the wall, but like maybe someday, maybe in like ten years, I'll get to perform oh, here." No way! And it was cool to like be there, and it's like I said every to every show, I was like, "You guys, like I." can't believe i'm we sold three shows here like i thought maybe i would get to do one someday that's bonkers and it was yeah it was wild and that room's just so beautiful and amazing and yeah, yeah and like boston was crazy too we did four shows in boston At the wang was, right yeah so that was like that theater is it's gorgeous i only when i was in the lady ghostbusters uh <laughs> that rock star scene we shot there for a week and i remember oh, just being yeah was? and i remember yeah. that whole time just being like I want to do stand up here so bad. Yeah. Does it yeah. just look? I mean, it was. Was that where you popped in on her shows? Or no, that was, was that? Minneapolis. That Minneapolis. Was oh, gotcha. Oh, cool. And Which like, those shows were amazing. Yes, I feel like that was another cool milestone for you because you were saying that you had done the smaller theater there to start oh, yeah. your previous tour, and you were like, "Oh man, like that'd be so cool." If Whoa. The next time, like maybe I could sell enough to be in the big theater, and then you sold out four shows at the big theater. Like, yeah, bonkers. It's. Yeah, yeah, it's now, really crazy. It's uh, crazy to be like, I I didn't think, I I I don't know. I also think it's just where comedy is right now. Like stand up's just very popular right now, and this like boom that we're in is like kind of right. Unprecedented. But you're also yeah, completely. Well, here let me we'll ask you this then. That. Well, that, let me ask you this: <laughs> What do you think changed for you guys to be selling out shows, going from a smaller venue to a huge venue? adding shows, selling out shows at places you hadn't before. What do you yeah. think, like? TikTok, Facebook Reels? Yeah, I think we both put in a lot of work, um, especially in 2020, to just growing our fan bases. And, I mean, you already, you had Netflix specials at that point. In 2020? 2020. My first one came out in 2020. Okay. I had the short one. Oh. Yeah, it was oh, the right. week of lockdown. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Yeah. Um, Your first one was the week of lockdown? Yeah, it came out March 8th, I Whoa. believe, and then everything was shut down like a week later. Which was such like cosmic, wonderful timing in that particular way. Sure. Like wow. people were in front of the TV. Right, I was going to say, did you get like reports and calls of like, this is actually really great for us? <laughs> Honestly? Yeah, yeah. there were, that was, at the time you it didn't feel like that. You can't not mention it. Yeah, of course. At the right. time it felt like my career's over. The, like I missed my shot. I got it too late. Like I oh. just it, like this isn't a job anymore. But I do remember like my agent saying like it's actually kind of great because people are at home watching stuff. Like they'll just watch anything right now. They're just watching everything that's out. And you're like, okay, I guess. Right. But Whoa. I mean, I'm sure it helped. That's Fuck why this yeah. last one I was nervous about it coming out because I was like, maybe the first one was a fluke. Maybe it was a lockdown. You're like praying fluke. for another pandemic. <laughs> I know. Come on, monkeypox. <laughs> <laughs> Where you at? Oh. Yeah. Um. So, okay, so putting a lot more into just trying to be active on social media, right? Which is like, you know, it it does suck. I have to remind, I just started to try to talk to a guy to try to take over TikTok because I have to remind myself and I, I just not also where I want to be putting my, my uh, time and energy. I mean, you have to be, but like with, not with like, definitely want to be in control of picking and cutting the clips. But as far as like, you know, having a posting schedule, that's a job in and of itself. Oh my God. And making sure you're doing it at the right times. And then, and you know, and even talking to this guy where he was like, yeah, even some of the things where, um, and I curse, but not uh, an exuberant amount. Mm-hmm. Is exuberant the right word there? I think it is, right? Yeah. 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 So, but he was like, dude, even having those, 
They'll take it down. Yeah, or, or it'll be not, it won't, it'll, they'll kind of um, filter it out because yeah. TikTok is more or less, you know, a lot of younger uh, audiences there. Right. So I was like, whoa. There's a bunch of shit on there, though. I that know. you're like, I know. It's a crazy, like, what? Yeah. What are your, real quick, your TikTok rabbit holes? And I know we talked about this last time about the, oh. the scrolling. Rabbit holes are like what's on our For You page. Perfect. Ooh, um, Should we look at the first thing that comes up? Ooh, fun game. It. Yeah. Ooh, this is this a real is, gamble. Why did this you really, I'm so sorry. Because <laughs> I know mine will What's the be. last thing you ordered on Postmates? <laughs> Kelsey, know, right? pull it up. Oh, my God. <laughs> mine is a text over a girl walking with her boyfriend that says, My mom once said, stick with the man that loves you, not the man you love, because the man that loves you will go to the end of the earth all caps for you but the man you love will only love you on his terms she's always said a woman can grow to love but a man either loves you from the start or doesn't caption says read that again (laughs) taylor mine's rough yours is like (laughs) that's like a woman what if it was like like top 30 reasons not to go to the cheesecake factory yeah i know that's like that's a, a wrong re- woman in the merch line that's like, men are trash. <laughs> look at me. They're like holding your arm for yeah. no reason. Oh. They're like, look at me. I have been alone for 40 years because oh you don't God. need a man. Don't listen to any, like, I, that happens. That does it? It's yeah. so, re- yeah. You know what oh, I get? You know what I, I get? fucking I, love that lady who's like, listen, if I could tell my younger self anything, yeah, it would oh be don't God. get married. Oh, my God. It's a what the waste fuck? of your time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't get that? I get, I like the Jew stuff. <laughs> Thanks, man. I think it was maybe one joke. Um, yeah, no, uh, I've I've gotten that a little bit. I've also, what I, I think, I've gotten a lot of, um, you know, and if even if it's like one Trump Biden type thing or anything politically related, yeah, somebody uh, like every I'd say fifth show, I think you can just talk about whatever you want up there. What? Yeah. Whoa. And this is somebody that is not like, a. Yeah, I can actually. Oh, was that? Yeah. 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 And just being like, you know, I don't like that, you know. And I was like, well, if, if you were paying attention, I was, you know, def- Maybe it is clear who who I'm, what which side I'm on, but but I'm, you know, giving it to both and like. Yeah. But it just always perturbed and, and probably more heavily like around the election time, I guess. Right. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that's yeah. The don't underestimate the. Recently divorced or widowed, fifty-year-old drunk Midwest gal. That's just yeah. like, you think? <laughs> so I know. You think what? you need a man <laughs> to make you happy? <laughs> <laughs> silly, 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 silly. Like, yeah, you know, like your just, range of <laughs> drunk women. Because when you're like, can you? Do, you're talking about people doing an impression of you. Sure. If I were to think of an impression of you, it's I love your drunk girl. Oh god. But like your younger drunk girl. That's like, and it's it, and it's it. It's like oh very like you go into the specific like. Eh, eh, eh. Oh. <laughs> I'm like oh yeah. Like do it, do, do it. it. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, um, so when you, you do like <laughs> when I go to Taco, you put a when I go to Taco Bell, and by the way, I look out for a girl that does that with her fingers behind her hair because that I have a friend, I have a friend named Tanya. Tanya, you know who you are. We call her Slutty Tanya because she's open for business like a Seven Eleven. But now what? But she always does this with her hair, and I'm always like, "What are you plotting, bitch?" <laughs> like, what do you? She's like some sort of weird, like super villain. Like, she's like, "Ooh, like let me get my hair to my face so I can kill your fucking family." I can't put this oh on TikTok because I cursed. Um, but yeah, um, like that, there's a there's a cadence to oh, it, wow. yeah. and it's so funny. Yeah, I love it so much. Oh. Um, Wait, what's your TikTok? It. Yeah, what's your TikTok? Okay, so you know the Dumb Ways to Die audio that's oh, yeah. right now? Oh, yeah. So it's a couple, and it says, getting into bed before we're both done packing for the trip in the morning. Dumb Ways to Die. Oh, I saw that one today. <sighs> Our so FYPs are synced. They've synced up. What's yours, Adam? Pull it up. I hope it's a thirst trap. God. I'm just kidding. Adam's one of the good ones. Adam is one of the good you ones. Really you really are one of the good ones. Please, don't, yeah. please right, don't be like a monster secretly. Yeah. That would break I, our hearts. I, I, you talk to my mom. <laughs> I, I raised by a single mom and fucking daddy issues. All right. Uh, POV, you're a remote worker vibing at Target in the middle of the workday. Oh, I got I know that one too. We have very similar FYPs, all of us. Yeah, I also don't... I mean, mine was, mine was rough. That was Yours were funny. No, that was great. That was... Mine was like, you should find someone who loves you, maybe. Yeah, but this is why that you're healthier hard. and have yeah. like... I now, get a lot of therapy. Do you guys... Let me ask you this. You guys both therapy, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So... Are you in therapy? No, never. No. I did it never. five times when my folks split. My mom was like, you got to go to the parent place. 
That's a bad. Yeah, and I start talked to this guy right who looked there, like a Simpsons maybe. character and <laughs> tried to talk. I walked in and he was like, "So why do you think your father <laughs> does not want to pleasure your mother anymore?" Oh my god! He didn't, was I'm that really paraphrasing. What he said? I blacked out. <laughs> I remember he had a little Nerf hoop on the on the door, uh-huh. and I would walk in and I was just like, I was very like, "I'll appease mom. She's going through it. She seems like." I could tell even at that age, what, nine, maybe you? nine about. Okay. Thanks for bringing it up. About, mm-hmm. um, no, but it was about, yeah, about nine, I think. I hope your lip starts bleeding again. <laughs> <laughs> it just does every time I talk about divorce. She goes, uh, she goes, I I could tell that she, like, it was going to make her feel like she was doing something right. by me going. Yeah. And so I was like, yeah, I'd love, I love to go talk to some guy. Yeah. No, he sounds awesome. And then he had the little <laughs> he hoop up. Awesome. And I would just shoot hoops for the hour. Yeah. And for the first like five times, I remember he just like wouldn't like make me talk. And then I remember this one time I was shot and I like went for it and I like, bounced to him and he just kind of palmed it out of midair and he was like, why don't we talk today instead? And then- It's like a good will hunting. Yeah. And he was just like, you know, he just, he also, he boxed me out too. Like it was a fucking <laughs> offensive rebound. Like he was just like, you ain't addressing we're your emotions, today. man. Yeah, we're crying today. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and so I think I did a little bit. It just it was always weird. And so I think it truly turned me off. <clears throat> I start crying for the um, <laughs> just to do that, and also, and not, and then I'll move on here. But I think I've done a good job at, um, and I think it's probably why I'm a comic and try to glass half full as much as possible. I think any sort of stuff that I went through or or dealt with would just I feel like I needed to be like a rock for my sister and mom, and so push down a lot of stuff. There was like I'll d- word that about that later because I want to try to be uh, not like yeah. funny to make them feel better, but just be more like. Like peer mediating for my mom and sister yeah. Yeah. to make sure they were okay instead of like and being like, I'm fine. So, mm. yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, then you also became the male in the household. Oh, totally. My like grandpa said that person. to me once and yeah. that weirdly resonated. He also was like, you can't wear sweatpants at your bar mitzvah, fatty. <laughs> but he said a lot of stuff that he did say that. <laughs> I was a big kid. And he's right. I was going to wear hammer pants in 95, which were very popular, grandpa. <laughs> R.I.P. But no, but also, yeah, you definitely can't. You got to wear a suit. I was like, is this yeah. a dig at us for wearing sweatpants to your podcast? No. Because I asked beforehand. <laughs> this is, I'm super <laughs> was bummed that I didn't pants. take time to change. Uh, yeah. No, this was him just being, that's, you know, when I was uh, big, I just wear loose stuff and I had never wore jeans. And he was like, you got to wear a suit. And I never even wore a suit. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so you asking about therapy? Therapy, yeah. What, uh, how, I guess in you know, trying to highlight some other uh, features of your guys' is just, you know, uh, trajectory here. Do you feel like therapy has helped on and off stage? It's, Do you I've look written forward a lot of jokes to it? About it? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, sure. that way. That's actually what's yeah. gotten me also like more intrigued is here like and it's like we all have people in our lives pro- outside of therapy, right? That you at some point have probably it's felt like a therapy session. Mm-hmm. But it you yeah. shouldn't have you should have a um somebody that's unbiased, right? Like yeah, I think real... so. Yeah, I think there's something really powerful about having a completely um, objective opinion. Somebody who has nothing to do with anything else in your life. I think that's important to have. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. I next agree. question. I mean, <laughs> um, sheesh. I mean, <laughs> knock that one out of the park. I don't even have to add on to that. Wait. I was going to ask you because we were talking about this on the way here, and I was like, we should ask Adam about this. Please. Do you feel like the LA comedy scene has changed like do you feel like you enjoy the road more post covid do you feel like it like the vibes have changed out here because like a lot of people moved or you don't like necessarily need to live here anymore like you can move to the middle of the country can be by a better airport (laughs) and just be like a road dog yeah and kill it like and come visit here and (laughs) stay with me yeah (laughs) oh is that what yeah (laughs) yeah the best. Wait, the real best. quick. Why? I want to answer that. Why did you move to Minnesota? Can you talk about it? Yeah. So uh, my boyfriend and I moved in together out there. That's Mazel Tov. Thank you. And also, it was uh, Spokane was just becoming not a, a reasonable place to travel out of every week. Yes. Becoming like it ever was. Like it ever was. Truly. Yeah. yeah. But a year and a half of that, it, every yeah. flight felt like international travel, because it's such a small airport. Yes. It's in the corner of the country everything's at least a stop everything's at least a stop oh, there are so few flight options so you're either leaving at like the crack of dawn or way late at night yeah so then you're leaving the day before i mean i was i was coming home a shell of a person every week and uh you just hit a point where you're like this isn't sustainable so yeah 
Um, a few different reasons, but how was the moving in together? It's great. Yeah, it's great. Uh, we were talking about cats earlier, and that you make fun of me for being a cat mom. And stuff. <laughs> yeah, and uh, my you're one of the good ones. <laughs> yeah. One of the good cat moms. <laughs> Thank you. Also, I think it was the cat that I encountered. It was my sister's cat, and it just like looked at me wrong, and then clawed me for no reason. And all I was doing was maybe I was making the wrong like commute, like whatever I was doing. Yeah, you know, and it scratched yeah. me, and I was like, I'm done with this pet. <laughs> as a whole, as a yeah. whole, as, as a whole, whole yeah. It was yeah. one bad cat, but um. Yeah. Okay, so they moved with you. So my cats moved with me, yeah. and my boyfriend has a golden doodle. So that has been a bit of a circus to be merging yeah. these pets. And also, um, my boyfriend is very allergic to cats. And no. So that's been, we've both made big sacrifices. You yeah. know, that's a big sacrifice for me to uproot, move to 1, a state I've never lived in, don't know anybody there. Kind of exciting. Cat. Kind of exciting. Right? Yeah. And uh, for great reasons. Yeah. Yeah. And but then also his big sacrifice is living with something that actively is killing him. I mean that's like not a. Is there a, like a pill he has to take to? He's looking into allergy meds. But yeah, uh, that's it's gonna be a patch or something, right? Okay. <laughs> right? Like a there's cat gotta pet? be a cat patch, Frank, right? What is it? Is it Frank Liotta? Who's the actor? Ray Liotta. Ray Good call. Liotta. Chantix. <laughs> Chantix. <laughs> Isn't it's that? not just for smokers; it's for cats. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't again. I don't do a Leota, and R.I.P. for him. Right? He just passed. <laughs> yeah. But so yeah, there's like got to be Leota, like the oldest Frank person. On the <laughs> awesome. Are you one of those people that's bad with like names of not usually, celebrities? Yeah. But that was a that was a moment. My mom's that bad. She'll be like, "Who's that woman? She was in um, <laughs> oh, she was in Mrs. Doubtfire." And you're like, "Sally Field? No, no, it's definitely Sally Field. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're talking about one of the kids, which I don't know you're why." Talking you... about Robin Williams yeah. as a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> Um, so that, <laughs> I thought that Pete was. Holmes joke about his mom thinking Celine Dion's name was Salon Dijon. <laughs> oh my god! That's Pete's god. bit, right? Is it so probably? I think it is. That sounds like a Pete Holmes yeah. bit. Yeah. Oh. I saw Celine Dion at Caesars. You have a great Celine Dion bit. Yeah. I, well, it was about her. Was about her doing stand up in between her songs. Oh yes. I don't. Yes. By the way, I think I've done I it three that. times. Was it real? Awesome. Stand-up? See, this is what you need sometimes. I know. I mean, yeah, it was. I mean, it was a. I think it was a maybe Jeremiah stand up on the spot show and somebody said something about maybe said her yeah. and then I was like I just saw her and then just kind of wasn't that you know, something about mustard yes thank you maybe I should do this it she basically <laughs> I do it now bombs I go I'm not doing it but um <laughs> no she basically would do all these she was such a you know legend and she knew she had all these hits in her pocket so she's also you're doing it 50 years or whatever I mean you know a, a lengthy career yeah. and so she was like I'm gonna just like walk around the stage and introduce my band and be like, this is my drummer, Nathan. He's been with me for 17 years. <laughs> He's been with me for 17 years. He's been with me for 17 <laughs> Everything was a song opportunity. Yeah. Every, like, she was making so many jokes. And at one point, she comes out in a yellow dress and she was like, look at me. Look at me. I'm so yellow. I'm so yellow. Hit it, James. I'm so yellow. I'm so yellow, yellow, yellow. I'm so yellow. And everyone's just like, and I was very high. And I was like, what the fuck is happening right now? And then she goes, I'm like, Celine Dijon. <laughs> And I laughed so hard. <laughs> and I was like, I mean, do not stop the condiment pun uh, joke train. And then I mean, we, my buddy and I were like, dude, there's got to be somebody side stage that was just like, yes. <laughs> like that wrote that for her. You know what I'm saying? Like a, with a notepad. Yes. That was mine. Yeah. yeah. And also That's like so bummed funny. at the other one she didn't do. But yeah, um, yeah. that was. Uh, I mean, have you ever done a cruise ship before? Have you ever done a yes, on a cruise ship? Just for yeah. a band, yeah. That's what a residency seems like to me. Totally. You just start to go crazy where you're like, I've been on this stage <laughs> every night one, for a long time. One thousand. We got to do something different so I know I'm not dreaming. If there was a Taylor yeah. Tomlinson cruise residency opportunity and it was paying, <laughs> I mean, the Googles, would you? <laughs> the Googles. Five, five, yeah, I just mean, oodles and you're oodles. stuck on the boat. And everyone knows Can you not do the a cruise? I don't think there's an amount of money in the world that you would do that. <sighs> not for. now. Because you don't like boats. No, I like boats. You're afraid of pizza. It's no, no. Being it's available at all hours of the night. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't on the bo- on the boats I went on. Pizza was not available all hours of the night. What cruises were you going on? Just Chuck two. E. Cheese cruise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kelsey Cook. Let's tonight's <laughs> joke of the moment sponsored by Doritos. <laughs> That was, so man, dumb. you guys are both very quick, but that was, that was, that was, that was funny. Very good. Um, you also looked at me like you were like, oh, this no. is going to, you're going to love this. <laughs> Chuck E. <laughs> Cheese Cruise. You looked at me like I was going to love it. You were exactly because right. Because I, like, it's so funny. I feel like I've known you for long enough. Yeah. That I know, like, the My references, the things like. that I think about. Yeah. I know that you're, that your fat kidness 
<laughs> hadn't gone too far, and that Chuck E. Cheese is at the forefront. Yeah, I love Chuck E. Cheese. I just when I think As of a like kid. a twenty four hour pizza party, Chuck E. Cheese is the first thing that comes to mind. And I'll be and like, I'll say this: single mom, never got a Chuck E. Cheese party. Bummed yeah. out about that. Went Oof. to quite a few. Didn't um, have your own. She took us bowling once with like six of my friends, and then one of them threw like two balls. Oh. I got no problem saying who who he is. Jess Lacasse, you know who you are. He, he was <laughs> the first kid in fourth grade to like, he said his dad invented Little Caesars and that like he was sexually active in fourth grade. Oh my God. He was a like bigger kid too, and we had no reason to fact check. So I. But if for, your dad invented Little Caesars, you probably could get laid off of that fact. So. Thank you, true. Taylor. Yeah. we So they it's went crazy, together. Bro. He had yeah. thought this through. Yeah. But also, we had no way to be like, well, how come you don't wear any of their merch at school, <laughs> Little Caesar? Like, I remember thinking that, being like, if you, if your dad really owned Little Caesars, you'd have breadsticks every day for lunch and have Little Caesars hats. Would you? Or maybe you just would casually brag about it so you can get yeah. laid in the fourth grade. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, but anyway, he said, um, what was the point of this? Oh, Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, Cruz. Cruz. Cruz all night. Pizza all night. Would bread you do sticks. that? And I always said, there's not enough money in the world. Um, that's not true. There's enough money to do anything. But I. Not a cruise. Not, not a cruise. Cru- cruises are tough, man. It's. Yeah. Is there a place you're wanting to perform, both of you, right now, where you're like, I'm hitting all the Ooh. cities? I know you're going to like Europe, right? I'm going to Europe. Wow. In April. Yeah. yeah so I'm excited Have for that. Have you been? That. I've been to. I've performed in Dublin before. Cool. Um, but that's it. I've like been to England, but I didn't perform there. It was when I was younger. I mean, are you gonna tape stuff out there and do like a? I don't know. I don't that know that many shows in that many cool venues. You gotta like capture. I don't know. I know that's for a doc or something, right? Do- I don't know. Are we supposed to? Can we just all be like? If you don't want to, no. But we, I think no. I. I don't want to. Right. Like no, now I feel like I'm supposed to. No, like, you're not supposed to. We do to. this all the time. You don't have this to. is why social media is so hard is you see people doing other stuff and you go, Am I supposed to be doing that? Am I supposed to no. have uh, everybody a crew no. of guys Only following you, me around on Twitter? Well, you're talking about like Bert. Like oh yeah, Bert's, But that guy's a guy that Bert's lo- like that an that's, empire. And no he one loves can compare it, themselves to Bert. And he yeah. wants Bert to is do, on another level. Yes. And I remember yeah. hearing you talk about like being with him and he was like going to do this or hang out with the fan or whatever and you're like, I don't want to do that. I just wanna so then you I shouldn't... just can't do it. It's right. not even I don't want to it's like I'm not built for that. Right. Like, you don't think if you had like superhuman. you, Kelsey, Dustin, and like doing a Europe tour and then you would you be comfy like taping that or would you be like, That just feels like too much and it's gonna take away from me being like rested and ready for the shows. Yeah, I kind of feel like we're because th- th- yeah. whenever people film things, they're always like, "You got to do stuff all day and yeah. film that so too." That sounds exhausting. You can't just go film us doing the shows. Like you're gonna film us in our road routine when we wake up, <laughs> walk to a coffee shop, get breakfast, try to find a bookstore, <laughs> go nap for two hours, go to the hotel gym, and then go to the venue. Is that a great doc? Oh, hello, <laughs> Bob Iger at Disney. Yeah, I've got season one of. Taylor does it. We're working on the title, but it's okay. This isn't Baba. Can you put your mom on the phone, sweetie? Um, such a dumb bit. That's me, by the way, in forty years on the cruise ship. Can you put your mom on the phone? Oh my god! You guys have been fun. Honestly, I would. You know what? Maybe is my now, lip bleeding? I, I would say honestly, maybe now I would do a cruise ship with friends. Yeah. If, which I think Bert is doing. He that. is. Bert does yes. That, yeah. But it's like with all his fans, and I'm like, that's either like gonna be. I mean, that's... He'll love it. He'll but I, love it, but I don't know that I could do But just that hearing you break that down, I'm like, oh, all your... It's why all of this social media stuff popped off is because people would want to see... They, so they could they love you that much to be able to... Oh, I wonder what it's like to walk to a coffee shop with her. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy that sounds like that. They'd, they'd, and, and what is she really, What is she bullshit about? And just seeing, yeah. honestly, being... You know, they like you because you're funny, so it's like they would love to see that in other avenues i think you want that on tiktok as like a front-facing video on the sidewalk right. going you know what i thought like about a day in the life of tour but like yeah the comedians in cars did you guys watch did you enjoy i or? did yeah. like comedians in yeah cars, yeah but those you know those are very famous people i guess they were doing what you do on the road which is like you go find coffee and yes. you take a walk yeah that's true that's true but that's you know that's seinfeld and eddie murphy yeah have yeah. you guys um in the last couple of years, had a show where either someone sent you a message or come up to you uh, after, and you know, after the you don't need a penis. <laughs> has somebody after that? Have you had mixed in like oh, an overwhelming like like story or you know connection of somebody like what you your um, you know what you've done for them um, or and then two parter somebody that maybe has hit you up or come to a show where you're like. Whoa, I didn't know Fauci saw a look at you or something like that. 
I don't know. I also, you never answered the L.A. question. Oh. But I don't know if you're trying oh. to avoid it. Oh, no, no. We'll put a pin in my, has Fauci seen Taylor? Um, <laughs> okay. I. How do you feel post-COVID about, like, the comedy scene in town, doing great. sets in town, and the road? Great. I, yeah, I. Because um, you're in town more than we are because you have acting work. Yeah, coming up, not a lot. But that, um, just trying to pay for the wedding, um, <laughs> and uh, and I, um, I don't know. I think for a few months, maybe it did feel like there was, but that I think was the COVID hangover. Not as much as yeah. like Rogan's gone, but like it, it wasn't. I, I didn't. You maybe felt that at the store for a little bit, but again, I think it was um, everybody trying to just get their comfort levels back to. Um, back to where they yeah. had them so it i don't know if it was but i felt like it went away pretty quick and clubs were filled and people were, like once they weren't you know like in the original room of the store they didn't have a, a blank row of chairs like once that stopped and it, i don't know i feel i feel like there's still a, a, a very energetic vibe around town yeah. um i like doing shows a lot here um yeah i don't um i mean I, i'm sure it probably has you know, shifted, but, um, I don't, uh, I don't know. I do. I definitely feel like there's more people out here. Oh, like, really? Yeah. Like even just, yeah. I feel like there's more, more people that are just now in at clubs. Oh, um, I feel like I see more different people. Oh yeah. New yeah. Pieces yeah. yeah. Um, which is, you know, how it goes. Um, yeah. I don't know if I feel like an overwhelming change. Yeah. You, do you feel different? After COVID? Like, do you feel like, I feel. Yeah, I feel, uh, I feel like I'm, I'm ready to go to therapy with the guy <laughs> at the parent place in <laughs> Seattle and patch things up. <laughs> um, Sorry, they got very sad. Got no, no, no. I, uh, no, I was trying to think of a funny answer and I was blanking. Improv's tough, by the way. <laughs> um, not many people better at it than I'm you. Sorry I do for asking a serious question. I do feel question. no. I was really trying to. Get, I, I was trying to give a you a bit. funny answer and then a, and then a real answer. Do I feel different from COVID? Like just you know doing like. Do you feel like you want to do the like? I don't know. We were talking about this on the way here. Sure. Just to contextualize it, about I personally feel, and I think you feel this way too. I don't want to speak for you though. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. But here I go. I felt like COVID made me appreciate the road. And I felt like oh yeah, in the last few years, I feel like we figured out how to do the road in a way that six years ago when we met, we were like, I don't know how we're going to keep this up. For oh, break years. it down. Like what? Taking, What's your new strategy? Well, we, I mean, we used to take red eyes all the time, all the time. And now we're each other's like travel sponsors. Mm -hmm. Red eye uh, to either, the show and, flight, and out yeah flights. in and out no no no. you can't take no. one after the show but like going to going cities there. from the west coast Whoa. You could. and so now anytime we're feeling on the fence about a decision that generally anything we ask we know that the answer is no you shouldn't do it but mm. you just like have to ask sometimes and be like okay that this would be crazy to take this flight and do this travel thing this way and then or like, this would be crazy to take this set in addition to everything else I'm doing. And we're always like, don't do, like, you don't need to do that. Yeah. Like, don't take care of yourself. We're always trying to just take care of ourselves because it's like, if we're not sleeping, if we're running ourselves into the ground, then we can't do anything else. Yeah. And I think we learned that the hard way. We were both sick all the time for like two years. Wow, straight. really? All the time. Yeah. We were just sick always. From just being tired and letting your body just run yeah. down and... Yeah. Now... And we didn't sell tickets before COVID. No. Like, we started selling tickets the last few years. And one, I think you spend so much time trying to sell tickets that once you s people start coming to see you on purpose, you're like, oh, okay, I have to stay well. Mm. This, this is, is like going to continue. Yeah, this, yeah, this feels is like a business. business. Yeah. This do is you, just a how do you, dash. Are you, can you nap? Are you guys nappers? I'm not a good napper, but I will. I've realized I nap when I'm really anxious. Oh, that's when I can't nap because I can't turn my mind off. Neither can I, but if I'm like sustained anxiety for a while, I'll be like, why do I need to nap at 5 p.m.? It's like, <laughs> oh, because oh. you're terrified. <laughs> do you and run yourself into the ground. Yeah. yeah. And would you guys don't go? You'll find a foosball table if you're in a city. Yeah, that was a big thing on last year's Hustler tour was trying to find – places in that city that had a table to go hustle people after shows and make some money get some content hell yeah that stuff and it was so fun 
now I this year's tour I mean last year's tour was busy this one is like also super crazy and so there are some times where I'm like I am just exhausted and people don't always know this but it's like so say you're doing Thursday Friday Saturday in a weekend you fly in Thursday uh you do the show you're kind of tired from travel and then you have to wake up early to do Friday morning press sometimes mm-hmm. so then you're not going to go out Thursday because you're like my alarm's going off crazy early but then on a Friday you've been up doing mini shows which are like doing radio doing tv and then you've got two shows that night so then you're like oh, i'm exhausted i can't go out tonight and then saturday rolls around and you've got an early flight on sunday so i've oh been re- like night times lately after i'm done with the two shows i'm i am so spent it's hard to find the energy to be like let's now go play foosball yeah, yeah. when you would hustle these guys was it incredible like the feeling of like seeing a guy be like get the fuck out of here there's or nothing like they- it it yeah. lights me up every time. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's How much have you taken from people? I think the most in one night on tour was like 300 something. Oh, Fuck. that's awesome. From a few different people. I started to do 100 bet minimums. And then I was also getting some guys. It's kind of great when they want to do it over Venmo because that's just like a, an unlimited fund. They don't have to have the cash on hand. And guys, it's gambling. They yeah. think they're like one more game. They just can't accept that they're not going to win. And so they'll keep, I got a guy in Florida who like, I think it was probably three or four games and I just kept getting Venmos because that's amazing. Also, I think any man that wants to talk to you should pay $100 minimum. (laughs) Great great friend assessment. That's very nice. Um, The do you have anything like uh, that on the road, like a foosball? No, like a I have night no out? other skills besides stand up. <laughs> Kelsey's so well rounded as a person. Like yeah. Kelsey's good at so many things. Like I always said this about Kelsey. I'm like, you could have done anything. Like you really could have. Oh, like that's very nice. she's very interested in a lot of things. Genuinely good at things. Picks things up easily. Like really could have done whatever she wanted. And this isn't you. No, I can, else I can do stand up. <laughs> I'm good at stand up. Nothing like there's no, you have no like weird like you know like an interior decorating hobby or a you know what I d- I got really passion. into I got into interior decorating yeah. like five years ago and cool. I signed up for like a did I tell you about this I signed up for like a community college online course and then didn't go to any of them wow but I I could no. paid for one but that's so s- embarrassing it was when I was I, I think I was twenty five. Or 24. Oh, my God. You kept yeah. that to yourself. I had I, no that's idea. That's because I was embarrassed. I was like, oh, I'm going to have to do homework? Ew. Uh, the, literally, the first assignment was like, make a Pinterest. And I was like, I don't have time for this. <laughs> Too much. Like, you make a fine. Pinterest. Got it. But I do like, I'm like, but I'm not like, <laughs> yeah. I would never say I'm like good at interior design. You are. Mm. Your place is beautiful. It's fine. I'm, it's, I. What was, is your, uh. You don't have to say where your place is, but give me your first like the addresses. Uh, give me the the first uh, Taylor treat myself. <sighs> All right, we added a eighth show. I'm gonna mm. buy that. That's a good. It was question. probably like a first class flight. Yeah, is probably what question. it was. Like, Actually, no, like I've bought some jackets. Purchase. Okay, I've yeah, like what's your? Th- everyone's got their me purchase, right? The thing where it's like, you know, don't give me Amazon at five. You know, and that yeah. by the way, that could be a guy too. You know, yeah. the guys also have shopping. Addi- you know, I know a lot of guys that. Probably their kids won't ever go <laughs> to a school because of their shoe addiction, right? And you're like, you're a bad parent. Men's shoe addiction? You shouldn't be a dad. Uh, yeah. Men's sneaker collections are unreal. Oh, yeah. Real. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's- and it's and I've never, well, and that's not true. They're always pumped and proud of it, but I've definitely met guys that, um, and have friends that, that are just like, they'll show them off and they'll be like, yeah, probably, I've got five <laughs> pairs of two. I probably should, I, I could have been good with two, but... It's you know, addiction. you do what you do. And yeah. you're like, that's not a good justification for your bad habits with money. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nate Bargatze had told me that, um, when was that? Maybe six months ago or so. That he was like, start to have not just career goals, but like lifestyle goals. Things that oh. you, when you're increasing your revenue, that you are like, this is going to be something that will make my life easier mm-hmm. and try to get there. So my first big thing was I bought a robot litter box. <laughs> That's hilarious. So adorable. So cute. I want to isolate that audio. It's my new email alert. Very and you were also mom. just like, so, oh, very cat mom. Such also, a what a great, mom. that sounds like the bet. Like, how does that make life easier? Exponentially. It's crazy. Because that was one part of having cats I really hated is it's like a daily uh, scooping of the litter box. It's just a whole thing. It's gross. It's I don't It's demoralizing, enjoy it. right? They're yeah. looking at you while you do it. Like, yeah, you, clean my shit up. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I knew you had a cat face. I knew you had an impression of your cat. See? <coughs> Don't you miss something? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Um, so you're pro robot. Pro robot, at least with the the litter box. That's really been. I can't even tell you. Great purchase. So nice to just do it because it it scoops for itself, and then it there's an app on your phone. It's connected to with Bluetooth, and it tells you when the tray is full. And so it's like once a week. I just put that in a tray. It's oh, it's so worth yeah, it. Yeah, I don't want pets. But you're not pets at all. No. How come? Because I hear stories like that. <laughs> not even <laughs> a goldfish. That's so depressing that that was like, the know. first thing I spent my money on. She's like, oh my God, get a fucking it's life. It's just the poop. No, no, no. I think it's really sweet how much you love your cat. I think I'm probably a monster that I'm just like, sounds like too much work. No, but that's. <laughs> to give her a you, That's cat. the opposite of a monster. A monster are the people who are like, I just want it because it seems like a cute cuddle. And it's like, they don't understand. Right. It's, it's like a. That's a responsible person. Okay. Thank monsters you for spinning that. Monsters are people that. who get pets and then they don't take care of them. Yeah, that's yeah. never. Also, cats. Do they want to snuggle? Yes. Are they cuddle? They do. Mine Hers are do. Like full. Yeah. Hers are really sweet. Do they make you want to be a pet person? I really just like visiting pets. Yeah, totally. Like yeah. visiting your pets is so nice. I'm like, oh my god. Like yeah. you hold your cats like babies, and it's yeah. like she'll hold like a. F- they're the size they're like, of babies. They're they massive. Wow. Arms around my yeah. neck. Like Legs when people around. say fur babies, I'm like, ugh. But then Kelsey <laughs> says it, and I'm like, yeah, those are fur babies. Wow. Yeah. Do you guys want kids at some point? Is that something you ever think about? I know you're, you know. I've kind of had to opt out because my boyfriend has had a vasectomy. Gotcha. He already has two adult children. Gotcha. And also, so, you don't and want to. Don't. <laughs> but also, great. Mainly, yeah. don't. You're want like, them. it's yeah. a real shame it's that I can't do that thing. Just can't. That I don't really want to get access do. to them. Yeah. Sperms. <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually I don't want. We were talking about this because we hung out with uh, Delaney the other night yeah. because Delaney uh, got out of show business and is happy now and very successful. Yes. Um, so we got to see her and we were all talking about maybe not having kids because they've decided they don't want to have kids. And I've been like more very recently, I've been like, maybe I don't want to do that. And I've always wanted kids. And Whoa. so it's been weird to be like, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe not. Because like now once once my friends start having them and like people in my family you're kind of like oh like you have a niece and you're like oh i can visit my niece yeah and yeah, you're so close totally. with your yeah i'm the same way where it's like nephews. i've never really wanted but same thing it's like i've always maybe growing up with them too with my half brothers and stuff and being but and i just saw a, um uh our uh, new um five month old niece and it was amazing yeah. and like making her smart mm-hmm. and then it was great and then and everyone's watching like doing like you know and yeah and right. my wife was very like She's kind of baby feverish, but not really. We go back and forth where it's like, Are you getting that pressure now that you're married? A little pressure. My mom's just like, keeps saying like, you know, I'm 40 and she's like, you don't want to be 50 and then uh, not be able to play horsey on the ground and all your bones are crackling and breaking. And, but, <laughs> no, but no, you wait, do whatever you need to do. <laughs> but so, but also it's just like, I don't know, like even just being down in Arizona for Super Bowl stuff and it was like to, nice to, to come back and not, and also not be thinking about like our buddy was watching our dog which is like your, you know, yeah. kid yeah. enough. Pickles. And yeah, pickles. And it was, I, it's just, I, I also don't want to be like tr- gone a lot. Yeah. And ha- and I know I'm going to like feel really, not just guilt and, and pressure, but I'm going to want to be there. But if so, yeah. I don't know, we go back and forth. And then, and then sometimes I'll, and I met another friend's baby recently and the complete opposite of my new niece where I, I could make her smile and giggle with, Couple tricks and peekaboo mm-hmm. always works. And I do peekaboo oh. on this kid, my other friend's kid, who's I think like five, six months, stone cold, like nothing, emotionless. And I'm like, LA kid? I'm like, this isn't my LA problem. Baby? This is, no. <laughs> Jaded? Oh. I don't want to say where because I don't want him to figure out. Okay. But I'm, I'm looking, <laughs> but I'm looking at the kid and I'm just like, this is on you, dude. Peek- <laughs> peekaboo always works. What is your problem? I know you've only I'm, been on this planet for like, five Adam, months. Why are you showing the baby your IMDb? <laughs> You know what I've been in? You know who I am? I know Stephen Bullock. <laughs> yeah, and, and, but he was so, like, also emotionless, and I was like, and that also was like, oh, yeah. It just, I guess, opened me up to the a- idea of, oh, you could get that. But also, I feel like it's maybe something to do with the folks, because I don't know if you're, yeah. don't they say, like, smiling at the baby a lot, like, makes the baby smile. I don't know. Like, where do they come from again? The babies it's, come out of what? Yeah, yeah. It's, you know how that well. lady said you don't need a penis? Sometimes you do. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't know. It's yeah, a weird thing to also try to want to make a baby like laugh. Like as I was doing, I was like, "What am I doing?" Yeah, like, you don't know anything. Weird. They don't know. Yeah, yeah. like they. Yeah. yeah, it's like how people talk about critics, where they're like, "You don't know. You've never made anything." I'm like, "That's how I feel about babies." I'm like, "You haven't done shit." <laughs> yeah. What you're gonna tell me? What face is good? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Um. All right. I do take it so personally when my niece like doesn't right? react to peekaboo. I'm like, "Come on." <laughs> yeah. Giving this my everything. <laughs> Giving this my She's everything, so yeah. Cute. Is there a? Um, did you guys watch the Super Bowl? Yes, we did. Yeah, I Together? forced. It was kind of a hostage situation. I kind of forced Taylor and Delaney to watch it. I missed the end because I was googling something else, and Hilarious. I looked up and I was like, "Oh, someone won." There's and like Kelsey's like, "Yeah." Like, <laughs> don't like. Don't care about sports. You played no. sports, didn't you? No, no. I just look like I probably threw a softball or something. No, I feel like I heard about <laughs> like no. some Temecula All Star. Something, no? No, I mean, I was in, like, soccer. I was in, like, everything for, like, a couple years. Gotcha, Like, okay. I was in, like, soccer yeah. for a couple years. So you did it. dance for a couple years. Like, awesome. it. Yeah. Yeah, but Definitely. no, I wasn't good. And so you're- I was in marching band. Cool. In, no. What instrument did you- Let me guess. G- yeah, I guess. It'll hurt my feelings if Will you it? it. I yeah. played the clarinet for three years. Did you? <sighs> Yikes, that response is not what I was looking for. <laughs> 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 what? Uh, I was so bad. I would challenge all the- um, I would challenge all the kids. I was like third chair, like at the very, there was like 30 third chairs and I was like 28. Because yeah. I would like practice for these tests and then I would just squeak my way through yeah. it live. But then I would challenge like the first chairs as you a would? joke. Because then they put us both. Like drum line. You could challenge, yeah. you could be like, all right, wow. like today, like all right, Adam's challenging Clement Lee. This kid was unreal. Like, he's probably played in every symphony since the eighth grade. And so they put us in a closet and they go, all right, you guys decide, Mr. Harshman, go, who's going to play first? And then we'll judge. So first would be, you know, Clement and just, you know, up Kenny G. Like this, everyone, it was unreal. And people would just like start applauding wow. after because it was so perfect. Yeah. And then, all right, uh, you know, uh, tester number two. <laughs> Damn it. Can I, I'm going to start again. <laughs> Clearly me. And then everybody would laugh and I go, I don't even, I don't, that's it. I'm, I, I just either. walk out. That's all I was doing it for. Yeah. And then I'd come out and I was like, he cheated or whatever. What's that? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I think we have to play the game of what she played. I played two different instruments. So you have. So my first chances. guess, um, I want to say that you started with saxophone at some point. No. Trombone. Nope. No. Nope. Trombone. I was going to say flute, but I feel like that's, no. I wish you thought I played flute. Can I guess? Great. I think I know this. You should know it. Trumpet. That was one of them, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what I, I transitioned to later. From? Um, it wasn't a woodwind. Or was it? I don't know. Was it, Adam? <laughs> oh, damn Did it. Did already guess clarinet? Yeah, no. Clarinet. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, clarinet. I was flute. Yeah, of course you were flute. Look at you. That will <laughs> Stop. You fucking gorgeous blonde lady. Yeah, of right. Course you were All flute. the flute players, everybody was always looking in that direction, you know. and not because of how you were playing the flute. We were like, Oof. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and right. Like, so angelic. We're, we're like reed, sucking on a reed <laughs> wet. <laughs> I never. Oh thought. I was my like, god. The attraction to the <laughs> reed, and I was like, you had two was... pieces, and we're like, <laughs> <laughs> we're like trying to get all the. To <laughs> marinating i was like why does marination oh, have to be involved god. in this and just you would just blow into a hole quietly blow it was oh no, my so god yeah the reeds were so you'd look over and somebody was yeah. just spit like i think it's gross. good tommy yeah yeah so uh, nasty. wait so that uh that no musical aspirations after that no. for either one of you i'm not good at music okay I'm not good at anything except stand up that's it but you watch the super bowl and you can still appreciate rihanna and yeah god the game, the commercials. Do you have commercials that you see that you? I know you love your Beyonce, but Rihanna. Let's be honest. Like blew so the roof off. Fucking good, man. Yeah, so good. Yeah, would love to see her. I was telling Taylor I saw her open for Kanye at Key Arena. Get out of here. Hundred years ago, uh, back when she would open for people. That's how long ago it was. I was in college. Wow. But um, I would love to see her on tour. You go to commercial. concerts. Mm-hmm. Taylor? I just bought Beyonce tickets today. <gasps> you did? You got them? I got them. Oh my God. That's amazing. Wow. Now, is that yes. something where you're like, all right, I'm going to treat myself to this is a person that I see in live. You're only yeah. going to get, I mean, who knows how long she even continues, right? I know. There weren't that many available by the time yeah. I got into uh, the page, how much but were they? they were like. You're going to dress up? Yeah. Yeah, you dress up. I think they were like 350 <laughs> I mean, like wearing Beyonce. That's not bad. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it wasn't horrible. That's also more than I would usually spend For sure. on a concert ticket. But it's like it's if you're not spending at least triple digits on Beyonce, yeah. I don't know yeah. if with you're the even... fees and everything, it's three fifty. 
Uh, I'd rather closer fees? to four then. Four hundred yeah. with fees, yeah. Is there an artist yeah. you would go see? I got for Christmas. I got Dustin and I, because uh, it's like an hour from where we are. The next night, I got us tickets to see a uh, Martin Short and uh, Steve Martin. Phenomenal. And I spent about that. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Worth it. Yeah, is- yeah, yeah. I've seen that show. <laughs> Fantastic! Have you? Yeah. Like, oh, that's so cool. So good. Yeah. Wait, it's this Christmas. No, no, no. It's, it, I was this last year. It's in. No, no, no. I got them around Christmas, and then the tickets are for like the summer. Cool. They're far away. Cool. But yeah. yeah. You guys said your road routine of like coffee shop, taking care of yourself, doing this. Will you? Uh, how do you? D- will you ever meet? People after a show, or if you go to a coffee shop and they're going to your show, and let's say one of them was like, "I own like this like cool like I don't know brewery or like uh, you know there's a hacky sack competition that my dad runs. There's an, a wheelbarrow. Fuck, these are bad examples. Is there like I'm I'm not going to kill you. Like, is there some yeah. sort of activity that gets suggested that could be spontaneous enough for you to go? Yeah, we have three hours before the show. That sounds cool, and we're in this city. That no hard pass. No one's ever pitched me like a cool post show hang post show like it's always just like we'd love to take you to dinner oh, we were near his house and we were like what? yesterday tell them what yeah. you were saying yesterday oh it's so weird like i get like <laughs> well you get dudes who are like maybe can i buy you a drink you're like can you buy a ticket you could buy me a ticket <laughs> to see me that's that. what you can buy good answer. or can you like, put a 50 in my wallet <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's what you can yeah. i'll save you the time yeah. um but then I also get like I get like married couples. I get like groups of girls who are like, "Come out with us!" Like, they're just like, "We'd be friends." Like, "Hey, if you want to, you know, if you want someone to show you around the city," and I'm Whoa. like, "You're just a private page. I don't know who you are. You're a tiny circle of a picture right. that's far away." Yeah. And you think that I'm gonna message you back and be like, "We were looking." For a tour guide <laughs> for Milwaukee. How did you know? Yeah. Like, right. it's so strange to me. It's impeccable, yeah. I right. would never. Uh-uh. And here's the thing. there. Some of the time, the people who do that are genuinely- Oh, they're so nice. Kind people who just, like, really do want to uh, take you in. Yes. And, like, feed you soup. And just be, like, <laughs> comforting yeah. people on the road. I know. But it's, like- Do you want to roll the people dice? People don't also, I think, realize that we get so many um, scary messages. I was going to say, it's definitely different for gals than guys. Yes. Yes. People with bad intentions. And so it's like, we can't do any of that. Like, there's no taking a chance on. Yeah, I'll go to a guy's treehouse in Peoria, Illinois. (laughs) Yeah, let me will. finish that sentence. If there's more than one person, sure, yeah. and also if I've gotten a vibe from the whatever, and there's enough chit chat to, and you know, it can't be too far away from where I'm. It's, there's, but yeah, you guys can't do that. Yeah, no. Why would you do that? And even me saying that and no, receiving man. Taylor's judgment, she's like, why? Yeah, are you you're like a little hours? bit of you're chit 40. chat. I'm like, yeah. I've dated liars for a while. <laughs> Like, what are you talking Ooh, about? I know, I know. I'm, like, I'm too trusting, for uh, sure. Ten minutes well, of chit-chat. It's so different yeah, for guys. Try yeah. six months of intimacy. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, sh- <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you might be a redneck. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that, I know, I'm, ju- I'm too, that's one thing I gotta get better at, too, It's just, I can read people really well, and I feel like I'm a good judge of character, but then I'm, you know, you know. Well, then you're in a treehouse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In Peoria. Yeah, in Peoria. Yeah. You're also a guy. And yeah. um, my boyfriend has toured as a comic for a very long time. And he has like fans in so many cities that have become, he's become friends with. So when he goes to that city, yes. they do go out for a yes. meal beforehand. I've got that too. Yeah. And, um, That's cute. and it's so one, like, and all the people are just salt of the earth. Yes. The sweetest, that can happen. Great people. And I think it adds to the touring experience of like, oh, it'll be fun to see oh, those people that. and like, I'll go get a drink with them. I'll do this. And I'm like, man, that's so cool that you get to do that because like, that's just not an option for <sighs> women on the road by yeah. yourself. Like you just can't do that. I know, but there are some times where you're like, I would be friends with you. I've said yeah. that. I have definitely said that to girls where they're like, I just, I'm like, we would be friends. Like, I'm like, if I lived here, we would be friends. Mm. Right. Like, absolutely. So oh, that makes me want to do that now. But yeah, you just have no way of vetting people you could go like with dustin maybe but i don't know yeah i guess i don't know it just is a little different so something happens to dustin then i gotta (laughs) talk to his family yeah yeah it's too much 
you know, it's just yeah. it's worth it. But I'm so scared all the time <laughs> that I'm going to crash a rental car with Dustin in it and I'm going to have to call his wife. I'm so scared all the time. I'm like, if I die, who cares? But like, <laughs> funny this, perspective. This is yeah. the head of a family yeah. in here. Oh my God. My opener has nothing to lose. I'm never worried. He's <laughs> 28 here. Are you ever with him or behind him when he's just walking down the street in like, there's a certain type of per like when oh, he does his, his yeah TikTok? which i love like no. are you i'm always curious, like is taylor in, right there I she's like so do it take again if Dude. you've seen a tv in a hotel and it's He's on so, already I know. Uh, and there's pee so in the toilet maybe you shouldn't be in a hotel <laughs> like yeah and i'm like oh God, always God. quick little and i'm like yeah it's, it's they're so, like they're jack so handy book quotes What's so annoying is like i remember us talking about tiktok and me telling him like yeah this is what you got to do now and now he does it all the time and yeah. i'm not good at uh, it yeah. anymore and i was good at it like during like covid mm. and i just can't and he's like i'll go into On a it. store i'm like i have to go look at these postcards and he's like all right i'm gonna stay out here and i come back out and he's put up some great yeah. bit yeah. Yeah. that he filmed on the curb yeah. and I'm like I thought we were just walking around <laughs> yeah yeah this isn't well, supposed to we're yeah. not supposed to be on right we're now we're not supposed yeah. to be on no. right now we gotta clock Dude. out yeah no he's great at posting schedule Dustin Nickerson everybody shout he's out he's got specials coming out he's got out. specials coming out he's your, so Dustin. good your specials coming out yes Give so it will be on YouTube on March 9th it's Fuck called yeah. The Hustler if you want it early it will be available on my website KelseyCook.com on February 28th you could buy it then and you get like a bundle of merch and goodies and stuff cool it will be available Available for free everywhere on YouTube March 9th. Amazing. Exciting. You're hilarious. Can't wait. Thank it you. Looks so um, good. Thank you. What uh, tour dates? KelseyCookComedy.com. Yep. Uh, just KelseyCook.com. Gotcha. Yep. I will be. When is this coming out? Soon? A couple weeks. Amazing. Potentially be, next week. Oh, great. Oh. Yeah. I'll be in Cincinnati, Kearney, and Minneapolis in March, and then San Francisco, Chicago, and Denver in April. Lots of great places coming up. Yeah. Those minus are Kearney. Cool. Minus who? Kearney. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I thought you made that one up just to fill out the schedule. <laughs> I, know, I was like, I not a real place. We'll edit this out. But Taylor, no. Where's Kearney? It's in Nebraska. Cool. Yeah, they got people there. Yeah. We'll Isn't see. That, I'm giving they've it a got shot, but people there. It'll also, be fun. I also still love going to places I've never been to and then yeah. go, oh, wow, because of what we're doing, we get to go. And then you're going for a fun reason. I don't know. Yeah, it's and you're like, I could build a life here. <laughs> and it's just summer. <laughs> yeah. Summer in Kearney. What if it happens? <sighs> I'll no, those cats and the dog. <laughs> Continue the chaos somewhere else. Uh, Taylor, um, tour dates where? ttomcomedy.com because somebody will not relinquish my name. Uh, Rude. For website. Rude Have you reached out? We haven't tried in a while. I tried years ago. Yeah. It goes to like a car thing. It's so dumb. Yeah. Don't go there. Ttom's fine. ttomcomedy.com for all my tour dates. If it comes out in a couple weeks, I don't know. I'm going to be in Texas and Cleveland and Columbus and... Uh, Mm, I can't remember. I wrote them all out. And <laughs> quarter life crisis, quarter life crisis, and look at you on Netflix. Yes. But Taylor, what are you? What's <laughs> what's got you excited? What's coming up next, though? When's your next thing? But seriously, when is like spe- you shot another one? No, I didn't. I'm shooting another one at the end of the year. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I knew that. <laughs> yeah, Fuck. which I mean, you know, well, hey, hopefully that's fine. You just you just never get to rest, do you? Yeah, you just but got to you know. keep those plates spinning all the time. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta have your jacket budget. That's your truly though. Have you bought a jacket in the last week? Not in the last week, but in the last month, I have. have and have, I'm. Do you love them all? Like you get a jacket and you're like, "Fuck, I'm so glad I bought this." I, how, how am I? How do I tell the other jackets that this is not the new? <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah, yeah, the new favorite. When you have items like that, you love. You put them in the closet. You're like, Oof, "Sorry, well, fucking blue blazer." <laughs> I mean, define favorite because favorite is that the one you wear the most, or is it the one so. that you're saving? Because some of like my usually my most like expensive jackets are the ones that just sit in my closet for a year, and then I'm like, the Tonight Show, Ooh. you know, like that's what happens with it. Gotcha. Like the one that I wear on stage all the time, I have like three of them. It is cool nice. that you've like made a look. You know what I'm Have saying? I? The, How yeah. cool is that? Yeah, I think it's nice. very cool. I was noticing that the other day. I was like, oh yeah, like this is like Just a jacket. Fuck yeah, and sure. the white shirt, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll take it. Cool. Thanks. I started yeah. wearing a. I started wearing different <clears throat> pants on stage, and I was like, "Is this okay? Is this fine?" <laughs> Funny, but it's like it's the same. It's just I wear the same outfit every show now, and it doesn't is make it so easy. Great. Like, oh my I've, god, I'm Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs, baby. Yeah, and, uh, but you so can't Steve do that Jobs when you're getting and the, um, um, Elizabeth, uh, uh, Elizabeth Holmes. Holmes, yeah. yeah. You can do that. I can't. That you know was what? great. I can't do it. Unless yeah, I, I yeah. feel pretty confident about that one. Crazy story. You watch that? Yeah. Yes. Bonkers. Yeah. So crazy. Her unblinking eyes. Oh man. 
I don't trust people that don't blink. Yeah. yeah. I don't mm-hmm. just trust successful women, <laughs> personally. There's, you know, yeah. God made Adam first. Yeah. There's a reason for that. <laughs> you make, she makes a good point. Yeah. Um, That's why I don't do podcasts after 8 a.m. <laughs> This has been uh, 8 p.m. Jesus. This has been a what? That out. This Thank has you. been um, this has been a real treat. It's we're gonna close. Nice. Thanks for making time. Wonderful to see you guys live in the flesh. Happy for your success. Uh, we're gonna close this out with a little ten question uh, inside the actor studio Ooh. questionnaire. Uh, R.I.P. James Lipton. You know that would have been on the You're show one day. You're such a good actor, Adam. Like just, I feel like you complimented us a lot, and I want to make sure we compliment you before we leave. You're yeah. so talented. Like Trying. you're really talented, grinding away, just yeah. kind of across the board in a way that's frustrating, or would be if you weren't so nice. I mean, I'll take it. You guys are really sweet, and um, yeah, I'll send you a Venmo for saying that. <laughs> um, hey guys, Adam Ray here. Hope you're enjoying this special episode of the About Last Night podcast. Checking in with you because it's a new year. You've got new goals, and Factor is here to help you achieve each and every one of them. I know you're like me. You want to save time. You want to make sure you have all the right energy to tackle the day-to-day and hit everything on your to-do list. And when you do that, you need energy. You need to be locked in, dialed in, and prepped for the day. So hit up Factors because they've got ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to Yaudawa. When you get Factor, you not only skip the trip to the grocery store, which is exhausting and, you know, great people watching, but there's some freaks out there lately that make you question your decisions and where you shop. So skip all that BS. Skip the chopping, the prepping, and the cleaning up, too, because Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready to go in just two minutes. So all you got to do is heat up and enjoy. Truly, whatever lifestyle you're living, Factor has the meals to help you live it to the fullest with keto, calorie smart, vegan, plus veggie, and protein plus meals on the menu each week. All these meals are prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians, and they all have the ingredients that you need to feel satisfied all day long. With 34 chef-prepared, dietitian-approved weekly options, there's always something new to try, which is awesome because you get to mix it up. Nobody likes the same old food day after day. Plus, you can round out your meal and replenish your snack supply with an assortment of 36-plus quick bites, smoothies, juices, and more satisfying add-ons. Looking to cut back on takeout? Well, factors the move, man. We started getting down with them. A few months ago, and it's been not only the uh, the cheapest, uh, most affordable route as far as trying to get food going, but um, it's better than takeout, and the meals are quicker than restaurant delivery. They're ready for you in two minutes. So get Factor right now and enjoy clean eating without the hassle. Achieve and maintain your goals this year with Factor. Get America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit and start saving time, eating well, and living your best in 2023. I know this sounds too good to be true, but it's not. So head over right now to factormeals.com slash about 60 and use promo code about 60 to get 60% off your first box. That's incredible. Nobody else offers that. That's promo code about 60 at factormeals.com slash about 60 promo code about 60 to get 60% off your first box. Do it. Love it. Live it. Let's get back to the episode. You said you had pitch me today for an acting show for you to... It's for like a. You have to say. You don't have to say. It's just it. Yeah, we were pitching a movie today, so we'll see if anyone awesome. wants it. Yeah, but they it's won't. actually something someone else is writing for me. So I was like, "This is great. Great. I just have to biopic ish. It's the easy. Just, no, cool. Not at all. It's just funny and great. And cool. Something I think I could act in. Which, Fuck. Because I'm not like I'm not this like serious. I'm not like I could really be a character sink my teeth into yeah exactly i'm not trying to sink my teeth in anything yeah. i'm like i'm looking for a role that's like mochi like, I'm like cool it's a soft but it's getting you <laughs> close to home <laughs> but it's getting you jazzed up for the idea to do something to, to act. yeah there's stuff yeah. you know there's cool. stuff at various stages of development that you know you know how it goes You're like, yeah. i don't know if any of this will yeah. ever happen but half the battle is throwing darts who said that truly is that some? Did you not say Elizabeth that? Elizabeth Holmes said that. That's just really no. I don't know. <laughs> oh, um, all right. Uh, my that would have laptop been amazing. Died. That by the way, shoot. That was so. Uh, that uh, show just made me go. Oh, there's nothing that as great as we are as like people and what we're capable of and achieving and creating. It was like that was so kind of sad in a way where it was like, oh, so many people got duped by somebody yeah. that just seemed hurt. so yeah. crazy, but mm-hmm. like I guess you know was so you know manipulative right yeah. yeah sociopathic and then there's carol baskin you know, <laughs> I know i'm sorry i'm bad at segues <laughs> it, was wild time uh, in 2020, it, was. it was man did that come out in 2020 the elizabeth olsen one elizabeth holmes holmes yes sorry yes. not elizabeth olsen that's a very different person <laughs> elizabeth olsen does she have her own uh what did she do Who, that's <laughs> that's the, the olsen twin that's sister yeah yeah, yeah. That's yeah. The red she's witch. so good Is that the so red good name? yeah Probably scarlet witch scarlet witch yeah there we go what's scarlet witch 
That's Avengers. People Avengers. are going to be so Wanda. upset. People who are diehard Marvel. You didn't watch people. WandaVision? I haven't seen it. I've heard it's great. What? Yeah. <gasps> what? I still haven't seen it's Game of so Thrones. It's so good. I just she finished started. it. You finished it. <gasps> I finished it. Oh my God, I, I want to talk about it. Tell me. You didn't tell me we Was the Starbucks oh, cup talk about it. real? Okay, wow. The Starbucks. Was yeah, there a Starbucks is. cup in yeah, the Game of Thrones? That was a joke because I haven't seen the show. There's a lot of dragons. Took it out by the time you there's a lot of oh. there's a lot they of left nudity. It in yeah. A shot. Oh, funny. Some of Game of Thrones for me in one sentence. You finished all of it? I watched it so fast. Wow. We have to talk about it after. We this. do have to talk about you it. You have to watch it. No, fuck it. Let's go and we'll do one more hour on yeah, just Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh my god! Just yeah. tell me the whole shit. What you have seen it? Uh, you yeah, I saw it. it. I watched it. Yeah, I watched it a long time ago. What's like, the best part of it? The acting, the nudity, or the dragons? Oh, dragons. The dragons are pretty fun. Taylor just saw a scene that most kids would not be allowed to see <laughs> and was running it back over and over in her head as I know, she I was stared down to think. at the ground. I was like, I, I thought you were going to ask sex... what. Oh, sorry. Is I don't remember lo- the sex being. There's not that much of it. Really? It's, there's not. No. It was so shocking. I think because so much of it is incest. Yes. That's why. But they're clothed Ooh. for yeah. some of it. Clothed incest sex? Boring. <laughs> I just remember I like rewatched the first episode and I was like, and, oh, they're not really that naked, right? Yeah. I, I haven't watched it in a while. I feel like there was more sex scenes earlier on in this show than later. But I mean, some of those episodes are truly some of the greatest episodes of television I've ever they're seen. So they're good. really good. You they're would really so like it. Good. All right. I'll, yeah. I need to, I need to get better at like doing that on the road too, yeah. but I can't. WandaVision's in it. You can't watch shows on the road? No, I'm not That's the only. That. That, are you serious? Yeah. Oh, because you have like a wife to call when you go back to the hotel yeah. room. Yeah. I should just send her a text being like, I'm busy. Figure it out. No. <laughs> what do no, you do it, when you go back? Do you watch sports? Sport, but I, I, I'll catch up on sleep and then do a lot of stuff that I haven't done here, there, okay. like writing stuff. And then getting, I try to get out and about, gym, yeah. go see something. But like after a hang, show. After a show, that's when I'm like, I'm gonna be up for hours and I'm gonna watch some stuff. I usually on will planes? pick planes. W- yeah, not a little bit on the planes, maybe. I'll like book travel on my computer and have something I downloaded going on my phone. Mm. That's mm. all I'll do it. I need to get better at that. Yeah, I WandaVision's just, really easy. It's an I, easy. Yeah, because when you uh, Game you of know, Thrones, you gotta pay attention. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot in that. A lot yeah, storylines. A lot of storylines. It gets confusing pretty quick. A lot of looks. Just a lot of long looks. It's one of those shows. Yeah. So, yeah. like, not a lot of dialogue and just a lot of... Like, the OC. I just started watching the OC. Did you? I started watching Vampire Diaries. I feel like that's kind of the same thing. I welcome back to work 10 years <laughs> old back to in adult bodies. Yeah. <laughs> welcome I mean, back to Truly, really though? <laughs> welcome back to... Remember Misha Barton? We do. <laughs> On tonight's OC Breakdown, she's going to look at the lead guy. I think his name's Ben something. Why did you start watching it? Uh, TikTok? I started watching it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've watched... She's... I've started seeing some Gilmore Girls because of that. Oh, yeah. Sure. Vampire Diaries, she loved. I think she's watched the whole thing what a handful of she? times. Do you know? Team. Don't tell me. Who, don't spoil it. But Brett? Tell me. Is that a that, guy? No, that's oh. not a guy. Come on. Take it serious. Um, <laughs> Vampire Diaries. There's people that. Delaney's was, husband Was Nina Dobrev on that show? Yeah, Nina Dobrev. Okay, she loves her. And then I think she was at Divine's wedding, so she freaked out. She's on that oh, show, cool. right? cool. Nina Dobrev. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were saying. Adam Devine was on Vampire Diaries. I was like, I did not get that. He was that Brett. Episode. He was. That's why I said Team Brett. No, he's not. No, he's okay. Not. I'm yeah. like, that doesn't he seem. Such maybe a I am a good edition. actor. No, I- <laughs> um, all right, here we go. Ten question questionnaire. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna play Lipton. We'll go uh, back and forth. Maybe we'll just trade off with each question. Hello, I'm James Lipton. Welcome back to the show. We've got Taylor Tomlinson and Kelsey Cook. Taylor, Kelsey, what is your favorite word? Oh yeah, I remember these questions from before. Yeah. Um, new answers, new day. Word. I like floof. Use it in a sentence, please. Look at my little floof. By the way, I talk to my cats. <sighs> Adorable. That was so good. That was I good. can't beat that. Favorite floof word. Like I can't say floof. floof is pleasant in your mouth. Yeah. Floof. Say it. Floof. A lot of F. It's nice. The UF is fun. That is a good one. Actually, I have another one. Fucko. Mm. Fucko that's such good. an underused insult. Like, hey, fucko. Yeah. It's so fun. Fucko is fun. And it also does, like, for whatever reason, it sounds a little softer than just, like, like fuckhead. Sounds like, like you'd be like, dude, yeah. I, it was a joke. But yeah. fucko, you can take it and move on, I think, with your fucko life. Fucko rolls off the tongue. Hey, you sound cool fucko. saying fucko. Yeah, hey, like, fucko. Hey, fucko. Yeah. 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 Like Fuckhead's that. like, you wrote that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you meant that, that, too. Yeah. yeah, you planned that. You planned it. 
Um, favorite word? Oh, I mean, I felt like I added okay. to that. Great. Fine. Great. That's I fine. can't think of one. <laughs> I mean, doesn't even have to be your fave, like a word that you feel like, like you maybe came into my added head. into the vocab. That was great. I thought. Both Is there a word that you say a lot that like people are like it's Taylor a word always that I say says a lot. that? When whenever people ask you what word I say the most, what do you tell them? People do ask me that <laughs> so commonly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all, is Taylor as nice as she seems like she is a real person? And what word does she use like too much? You know, what word do you say a lot? I don't know. Let me think about it. We'll come back. We'll come back. What is your least favorite word? We say dude a lot. Oh my God, is the next one least favorite word for real? I say dude a lot. We say dude a lot. Yeah. I like saying dude. Are we supposed to though? You say dude? I do. You call guys and girls dude. (laughs) Yeah, I call everyone dude. Yeah, I love that. But I don't know if I'm supposed to. Am I going to get canceled? We say it as like an exclamation. We're like, dude? Dude? I like that. Yeah, like how people say bro. Yeah. Bro? Yeah. My niece says bro a lot. Yeah. I like dude. Dude's good. I like dude. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, I'll claim that. Uh, Kelsey, what is your least favorite word? Oh, um, Slurp. Oof, yeah, not a fan. Slurpy? Slurpy, I like. Yeah. Slurpy, you save it. Isn't that you think fun? They, yeah, do you think they started off and they were like, all right, 7-Eleven, we're introducing a new drink. It's called Slurp. And they were like, Ooh, Yeah. Slurpy. Yeah. <laughs> we'll edit this out. But do no. you think, um, okay, Slurp is your least favorite word? That's that's Taylor. Slurp. Gotcha. Yeah. What's yours? Oh man, I'm trying to think of. I don't know if I have a least favorite. Um. I mean, everybody says moist. That's too easy. Yeah. I, I like dampen. No. Dampen. Yeah. Dampen. That's a lot of. It also sounds like a yeah. name of a kid whose parents just didn't even try. <laughs> dampen. They were like David Dairy Damp Dampen Damp. Fuck, he's not gonna live past twelve. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. Uh. That's yeah. Damp. Uh, yeah. Great. What turns you on? Like sexually? It can be. Or it can be <laughs> emotionally. What are the other ways? What are the other ways? <laughs> Good point. I mean, I... <laughs> sexually? I feel like I know, People have said like... Some people have said... We could probably answer in a wholesome way that's still sexual. Matthew McConaughey. Creativity. Oh. Yes, Matthew McConaughey said honesty. So oh, Matthew McConaughey said honesty? Yeah. Woo! Mine's Whoa. honesty too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, good yeah. answer. Yeah. That is a good that answer. Right? That's a answer. great answer. Yeah. As if that man couldn't get. Oh, trust yeah, me. I was just sexier. like. I know, right? <laughs> Be honest, rules. <laughs> get down. Um, <laughs> so I'm not wow. talking to anybody, Matt. What's, what's Matthew McConaughey's favorite word? Oof, I'd have to dig deep. His fuck was his fuck was his favorite curse word, which is coming oh, up yeah. next. And he was like, oh. and I was like, are you more of like a you at the F U hard or like you finish the CK? He's like, I like it good. And then he starts doing he goes, I also like the he goes, I like the middle finger, the old fuck. And I was like, oh dude. And then I go, Do you uh I go, you don't do like the you know, some people like old guys on the you know, get off my lawn, we'll bend the fingers. He's like, No nah, man, just straight one straight, straight finger up. up, just fuck you. <laughs> and we all just started laughing and Yeah. It's good that I you know. Yeah. Dear Diary, you know. That's awesome. I have um, a weird turn on. I think it's um, somebody who's like good at talking shit to me. Mm. Oh, like making fun of you. Like making fun of me or going to do something competitive with yeah. each other. Oh, somebody yeah. who can talk shit in a funny way. Yes. That, I think that's very charming. It's because you're good at things. Mm. It's because you're good at games and stuff. Like if I was bowling and yeah. someone was like, oh, you really suck. I'd be like, yeah, I do. <laughs> You're right. I don't even care about this. Thank you for highlighting this insecurity. I'm not a fan of this. I didn't want to be here in the first place. (laughs) I'd be like, I don't care. I'm like, yeah, Yeah, you're right. I suck. Great. You're like, you get like, that's why it was so fun. It's so fun to do your foosball show because you're so competitive and everyone else is Totally. It's really fun to get you worked up. Oh, that was great. Eight dog bones on that show. Right? Did you? Yeah, you ate my oh, phone God. Oh, and it had tears bad. in your eyes. You oh, it was bad. Like you were gonna... <laughs> I was. It was bad. So I was just like, for the you. bit, anything for the oh, bit. My God. And then I'm first bite down, like, <laughs> I mean, I was like, I'm going to throw up on a dwarf, and this is, I think, a curse of some sort <laughs> if, if you do that. I'm picturing it. Yeah. And you were so, you're so, uh, like, just, I even was talking shit, and I was like, and Brad was like, I'm actually pretty good. And she was just like, no, yeah, okay, yeah, I bet you are. And then, like, just right away, just like nine nothing, yeah, and just completely, you know, <laughs> cripples you. Yeah, yeah, it's devastating. It's uh, fun for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? Uh, all right, favorite word, fucko. Uh, what sound or noise do you love? These are very sexual questions. I know. What they are. Lipton was love? a little bit of a perv. Let's be honest. <laughs> He's like, oh, these are his questions. Yeah. 
Oh. I mean, what sound or noise you love? Again, that can be like, sound you know, noise you the love. rain on a windshield. I don't think we're looking for like, you know. Yeah, the, I'm like, what are we looking for? Like the noise you make when you first realize you can <laughs> square. I don't know. I know. Like, you're like, uh, are you square? supposed to say yeah, like my yeah. grandma singing <laughs> yeah. or like a person that could be it. coming? I mean, yeah. yeah. Like, sound or noise you love. My Let niece me think laughing. Oh, that was Adorable. really nice. Really sweet. I know that's not funny, but it's genuine. No, that's really yeah. Let's cute. balance that out. Taylor, something sexual. Oh my god, <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> something weird. Something to make everyone a little uncomfy. Taylor, <laughs> we'll come back to you. Kelsey, get yeah. on the genuine yeah. answer yeah. sooner, oh, bitch. Oh my god, I know you took it. That's really sweet. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think of everything on the white noise app. I'm like, I like like a thunderstorm. Yeah. I like that. Cool. That noise. How about this okay. laughter? Depends who it is. Gotcha. Good answer. I mean, I like a big crowd laughing, but if it's an individual and it's annoying. Do you have favorite laughs in your life? People where you're Ooh, like, I go out of my life. way to make that person oh, laugh. I turn yes. things up a notch. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's a great, yeah. That's a great one. A couple of my best friends from home have such great laughs. Mm. My cousin's a great laugh. Yeah. That is the truth. Like, you know when somebody has a laugh you like, and you're like, I yeah. got to get it. Yeah. I yeah. got to have it. Yeah. Me and my siblings all laugh kind of silently we kind of all did like d i kind of laugh you'll go ah yeah i do i go like ah like and then i kind of yeah. i don't really like i don't have a great laugh i laugh i disagree but it's like it's a moment it's not like a yeah ah, it's a ah. it's a fade yeah that's i'm trying to think of who has a really good laugh that i can think of you always know you do notice i can't believe i can't think of someone off the top of my head Delaney's got a good laugh. Oh, Delaney has mm. a really good laugh. She does have laugh. a good laugh. Yeah, Delaney has got, has got a great laugh. You have a sis, right? Just a, I have sis. three younger siblings. They have good laughs? They do. I mean, they're the laughs I want the most. Gotcha. But if we're talking objectively, yeah, like sure. if we had their laughs, like auditioning for mm. something, I don't know that I would cast their laughs. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> By like, the way, Mario Lopez <laughs> is destined to host that show. Cast your, your laugh. laughs. Just bringing in people to laugh for a canned... That's so Absolutely. good. For a sitcom audience. You know who has a good laugh is uh, Laura Peake. Do you know Laura Peake? I know of, I've never so met her. She's so funny. Yeah, She's I hear that. She's so fucking funny. And she did spots on the Chicago shows. Cool. And we we're great hanging laugh. out in the green room. And I remember thinking like, you have a really great laugh. I don't know if I even told her I that. To Hopefully her. she's listening. She's so, you haven't met her? She's Ooh. so funny. Oh my God. Um, speaking of which, by the way, these desserts are getting out of hand at your shows. Like to where you're gonna have to like open a store <laughs> of oh, just yeah. like it's usually donuts. It's yeah, usually, but you're gonna. And I'm not even getting them anymore. Like why? venues or like my tour manager will, and I'm like, guys, we can't do this anymore. Because you just can't keep taking. They're tempting. Too, so yeah, they do like go away. Next night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's could be. I don't know if anyone on your team is like thought that far, but at some point it's just like you could open a pop up of like the things people because people don't they make like original things and bring them. No, they're just bringing donuts. No, I wouldn't be eating things people brought. That's a risk. That no, I would never do that. <sighs> wow, that's such a veteran move no, yeah I'm not doing that. you can't do that that's no. a quick way to get something that you didn't have yeah <laughs> it's a quick way to get something you didn't <laughs> yeah. have wow what do you think but now riddle me this what are you thinking is in these donuts are you just going straight no, to no, like they're not fentanyl from, they're not it's not maple bar that's a fentanyl they're cake not, they're not from fans like they're just the venue ordered them or something oh or like or my tour manager getting was, fan treats that were no no no, no. But you've got you're thinking those. of someone else no i'm not I no, I've never gotten fancy. So it's treats. the venues that are the venues are getting yeah. Okay, cool. But they're still sometimes very elaborate and like Yeah, no, yeah. fans aren't doing that usually. I mean, every once in a while. That's not true. Every once in a while. So, so you don't even trust happen. the venue to supply you with some cookies. No, I do. I'll we've crushed those. Gotcha. Yeah. But if fan is dropping off a tree. If they were just handing it to me. Yeah. Like in a meet and greet, that I would be like, I don't know, I don't know yes. you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Crinkled. They're like, sorry, I was breathing in the bag to keep it warm. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a cold treat. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> Carpe diem. It's not where that goes. Um, what sound or noise do you hate? Oh, so many. Yeah. Oh, I've got one. The sound of people biting their nails. <laughs> yeah, sucks. I hate that. Yep. That there, it's a oh. small yep. sound, but if somebody's doing it often and you zero in on it you can't not hear it that mm. i don't like that sound. you'll get up and leave the room it just it gets louder by the second in my mind <sighs> and it, it bothers me yeah. sorry um yeah. mine is there's groups uh, for that, by the way there's groups you can go to so for, much yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, send you, I'll send you some links <laughs> i'll send you some links i don't like that guy <laughs> i have a few of those guys in my i'll send you the link Thank don't you. send me the link don't send it's me usually link. gonna be an animal attack video <laughs> that turns into something oh. very foul uh, yeah. oh no yeah Oh, jeez. Do you have one? My least favorite 
sound. Yeah. Um, New York City when you've been there for five days. Good one. And your and your headphones die, and you're like, oh no, there's nothing protecting me. Oh yeah, there's nothing. It's that can very overstimulating. It yeah. is. Yeah. Too many yeah. sights and sounds. Yeah, I my sister came and visited me a couple months ago or something, and I was like on the street with her, realizing like. Oh, we've been walking for a long time and I don't have, I started, I was like, I have to put AirPods in just to muffle. I wasn't even playing anything just Whoa. to muffle wow. the noise. Cause it was just like, it with my anxiety was too high. It was like, just felt like this. Could you zero in on like conversations? Like, are you, yeah. you get that? Oh, I've done that. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. There was a girl once that was walking behind me and somebody I was with and I was like, they were talking to me and I said, stop, 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 stop. Just wait. I'm listening to something. There was a girl <laughs> behind me on the phone going yeah i mean you know he like he left this morning and i took him to the airport and we like both cried and it was just like you know and i was like oh my god this is true love and then she go and then she goes but it's like you know like you have a girlfriend like <gasps> you know and i was oh. like oh no oh, i was rooting for you it was rough from the creators of taxi cab confessionals come sidewalk eavesdrops i know and then she sidewalk took a turn and you I got so much and like that's crazy I what know. a turn i know yeah i'm like you suck yeah i wanted to turn around and be like he's not he don't do this his this lip probably it. bleeds out of nowhere. <laughs> Get out of there. That's why you're getting crazy TikToks is because it's picking up on those. I know you're probably yeah. right. <laughs> Just like, listen. So Here's what you want. Yeah. I'm like, that wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what profession other than your own would you like to attempt? Ooh. Yeah. Man. What would I like to attempt? I wish that I, like in a completely different life. Sure. If I was a slightly different person, I wish that I was talented enough to be like a professional dancer mm. or something in music. I just love music so much and I so admire people who are singers for a living or dancers for a living. Dancing just makes me so happy. I think that'd be really fun to get to do that for a living. Mm. But then what would you do after you couldn't dance anymore because you were like injured and stuff? Yikes. Oh gosh, you Jesus just. Christ. I'm sorry. Black swan table for one. <laughs> what about when your body gives up and I you're just... tossed to the streets? <laughs> trying to squirt for tuna salad sandwiches in front of a group of blind kids who don't even know you're there. What about when you can't twirl and tap? What about when you can't rickshaw into a rim job? I don't know. I don't know what to, I don't know what any dancing instructor sounds like. Oh my God. Uh, I know uh, you took my. I'm sorry. I think my that dream life. I'm sorry. I'm just went, <laughs> that like, was so about when nobody wants really your fun. body yeah. anymore. You <laughs> what, old bag of. When bones. you can't move, but you sweat constantly. <laughs> no, I'm just. <laughs> you don't even earn the sweat. I'm just saying. I always it's think so about this. Oh, I think about this so ever. I thought about this the entire fucking Super Bowl. Oh. I'm not kidding. I, the, it's the it's why I don't about the dancers and the athletes. Oh, man. oh my god! Because I go, oh my god! It makes me so grateful to be a comedian. Where I go, we can just do this forever. Yeah. And it seems, and I have a cousin who's like a ballet dancer, yeah. and is just like incredible. There's an expiration date. There's an expiration date, and they're just That's like, true, oh, I will, ju I'll just teach after. You're the milk of performers, ballet dancers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that is. It's just like it's so beautiful that you do that for like ten years and or fifteen years, whatever, and then you know you you teach is, or you transition. Yeah. So that was just curious. Um, if you thought it through, this <laughs> I, just, I was just curious. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know I'm if you really have a ten-year really plan with this I also, fantasy. I also didn't know. We were like, "What would you be if you could be anyone yeah. in an alternate reality?" Sure. Like, would you if you could like? Go what would back, your Sims character do? I know. Well, if you could go yeah. back to like twelve, would you and like re and relive sure. your re life? Would you wow. try to be a dancer? Oh, is that how far you'd have to go back? Yeah. to be a dancer. I, I don't know if I could be happier than this life, though, totally. in terms yeah. of comedy. Like, right? this is it's exactly what I'd want to do. Crazy. What a yeah. cool, crazy, but what a, a very cool realization. I'm yeah. sure we're all there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like, man, every part of the ups and downs and the grind, the days where you're just like, you know, anxiety ridden or just stressed or, you know, whatever it is. But then it's like more good days overall than bad. Oh my yeah. God. Right? Yeah. It's so, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's That's really crazy. crazy. We get to do this. And so you love to do it, but then like, you know, again, just to back to the thing about like, if you gotten messages or whatever, it's like, I was just talking about this with my mom because she was down here for a few days and she popped around to all the shows and and she just wants to do that all the time and she just was, you know, being real sweet and and uh, 
and she was like, what a cool thing that you get to do. She was like, I was watching people in the crowd like watch you. And she's like, yeah. what a cool thing that that's what you get to do. Yeah. Yeah. And make people, because she's like, I know you love it and it's fun for you. She's like, but how often are you thinking about like, that the people, you know, and we get, you know, people come, oh, great show and this and that. But it's like, it's such a quick fleeting moment that like, yeah. you know, again, like sometimes it's turning someone's month around, right? Yeah. From oh, like. For sure. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know what I'd love to do, actually? This is maybe a weird answer, but I've thought about this on the road recently. It's like, I just love to work at like a beautiful theater mm. and just get to see all the shows that came through there. Totally. That's a great one. Like, oh, some of the staff. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. A great I just did one. when I was in Pittsburgh. I was like, I was looking at your guys' website, and you guys don't have a lot of comedians yeah. come through here. Like, they they have more comedians at the other venue I did last time. And they were like, yeah, the last comedian we had here was Chris Rock. And I was like, well, this is not going to be that good, <laughs> oh, you guys. Like, geez. let's just all lower our expectations. But I'm like, that's so – it would be so cool. It's like how I wanted to work in a movie theater when I was a kid. Me too. Yeah, like, that's how I feel yeah. now where I would love to just work at one of these, like, gorgeous venues and just watch – like as an usher wouldn't it rule yeah you guys so this yeah yeah, because the people working in this pittsburgh theater might not have you know you guys coming through but they got lion king yeah right they got you know uh you know probably steve broadway plays they probably you know we have a show coming in next july called sad dancers where it's a bunch of dancers (laughs) who dreamt about their last legs they dreamt about dancing as kids but they had that one special friend that you know called them out and as an adult and was like well how would you have pulled that off and so in spite of their friend they get back on the stage I think apart. I'm so impressed by dancers and athletes. I think totally. like it's so impressive <laughs> what what they do. I just it would make me so sad. Uh what yeah. profession would you not like to do? <laughs> oh, oh how much time do we uh, yeah. have? Lord. Every minutes. So many things I would not Everything, like to do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, that's such a lawyer, just, doctor. Yeah, anything. Blew my brain. Yeah. I couldn't. Yeah. Couldn't even think of one. Lawyer, all... doctor, teacher, all my best friends' jobs. I would yeah, never do honestly, those. Yeah, honestly, that's where my mind went to is like all my best friends. Do you have friends that do this where they, they'll, you ask them about and they're like, they start to t- give you an answer and then they go, it's not like what you're doing though. It's not, I'm not blah, blah, blah. And then they insert experience that, that you've done that they don't do because they're like, I'm just, you know, even like if it is a doctor. Hard? Like they're like, it's not as hard or? Not as uh, interesting. Oh, oh, that's like, interesting. Like yeah. they immediately will do, like Downplay start to talk it. and I'm like, I want to know all about it because I don't do it and also yeah. you're my friend. But then, well, it's not, I'm not. You know, going to the Super Bowl, and I was like, yeah. "Well, yeah, I know, because you're doing that, which is also you're you saving a lot. You're, you know, yeah. Yes. So yeah. I want to hear my about close it. friends. My close, I mean, my closest friends are a teacher, a doctor, and a lawyer, and like I think they are so interesting. And I'm also like, I don't know oh, how you fuck. I felt a that teacher? way when they were in school. Oh my god! Now you see all these videos of like kids beating the shit out of the teachers. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can't turn away. Oh, but it's devastating. It's like, oh no. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. I, one second, babe. I missed the part when the kid hit the. Kids are so oh. scary. Kids are so scary. Terrifying. Yeah. 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 I'd be. Also, the teachers like, oh fuck, they're just so stressed. Yeah. Like, I don't want to say I am on their side when they, you know, <laughs> get her show whatever, but like, you're like, fuck, man. Like, you got to give them days off or so, like, it's yeah. just they're taking right. on. They got their own shit, which they're never probably, you know, feeling like they can get a grasp of. And then they're just like absorbing, I'd say more often than not, like kids that are just like coming in with a lot of shit. Yeah. To me, being a teacher is like doing the worst show for seven hours. Wow. Like Great way to the look worst at it. show for the worst audience. Like all so day. So draining. It looks can't imagine. so draining. Yeah. Because just know it. They're con- you're constantly like, can you just look up at me for a second? For a second. Yeah. So I can tell you about, I don't know. What are they learning? What's. Mm. Quadratic formula. Yeah, that sounds like something. No, that's a new Ant Man movie, right? It's in a what? That's a new Ant Man movie, right? (sighs) Avengers stuff. You lost me. Yeah. Okay. Well, I saw. It's like quantum, quantanium, quantum. Oh, something. And I should know. I should know more about the. Is that? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Solid, solid solid reference from Taylor. We can cut it. I'm sorry. The only. Yeah. Uneducated. I'm lost. I mean, I was in Iron Man, but I haven't seen any of the Avengers movies. So it's (laughs) not that I'm a nerd, and and there's nothing wrong being a nerd, but I just feel like. I mean, look, would I blow Chris Hemsworth? Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't? Oh my god. Uh, I wouldn't be an actor. I I wouldn't do that full time. (sighs) But it could be right around the corner for you. No. Who knows? Never. One of these things pops off. Full time. Full time. No. I mean, oh, not I mean, full that's time. All, that's what I'm saying. I would not be a full time actor. That seems <clears throat> too much sitting around. Oh my god, so much yeah. sitting around. Yeah. Totally. The auditioning. Oh my god. Yeah. Never. Yeah. Couldn't do it. Well, you're on the path where I feel like you're just gonna <clears throat> start making your own shit, and then they're gonna go, "Oh, cool. Will you do this too?" 
We'll see. Yeah, from my lips to God's ears. That's what my mom says. I was just going to say, I feel like... It sounds like a pudding, pudding quote. Right in the yeah. room. Yeah. <laughs> she also says, remember what Michael Jordan says, just fuck it and have fun. <laughs> I don't think he ever said that, Mom, but I love that you think that you know what Michael Jordan has been pumping people up with. All right, uh, last uh, question. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? I would love him to be like, great skin. Like, <laughs> you made it through the acne years. And we love to see you. I girls. love that. You're like, you were watching. You were watching. Get in here, you do a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I would, that would feel so nice for God to think you have nice skin. Fuck yeah. He's yeah. seen everybody. Yeah. What's his true. skincare regime like? Or hers? True. Way to go. <sighs> right? Or theirs. Hey. We'll You're right not back. getting canceled we'll on my watch, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry. I got you your back. Oh, thank you. That's a good one. All right. Yeah. Good job in the acne. Way to clean it up. Way to take care of yourself, God says to Kelsey. Yeah. yeah. Come on in. Yeah. Taylor. Hey, fucko. <laughs> Taylor Tomlinson. It's called a callback, Kelsey ladies Cook. and gentlemen. It's called a callback. Another great special title. <laughs> Everyone's got an Owen Wilson, and it's called a callback. Um, you guys are great. Thanks for making time. This was super fun. I hope it was super fun. Super fun. Right? Oh we had a good God. time. I Mo. so hard. Yeah, Mo's yeah. been it here for just... It never feels like a podcast. It's just like we're just... That's the best. It shouldn't... catch up. Yeah. And Zoom's the worst. I yeah, know. That's the last... Yeah, we both... The last one both of you guys were kind of have to do was over Zoom. I fucking hated it. I mean, it was great. But just the... You need the live connection. Yeah. Um, all right. T-Tom Comedy. KelseyCook.com. Yeah. Hell yeah. Self-helpless podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Still jamming. Still jamming, baby. Uh, past episode that people should dive into. Oh, go listen to all the early years with Tay on it. Yep. Yeah. Or if you don't want to scroll, there's been some good ones lately. <laughs> I really like the Sex and Love Addiction one. I listened Ooh. to that one. I'm not on it. Great it's teaser. Just, yeah. Yeah. That, that was, was a really good one. Good one. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite part was when she said that love addicts are uh, just as emotionally unavailable as avoidant people. It was wow. A, it was a I know. Episode. It was really good. Who said that? We had a doctor on. Yeah. Psychiatrist. Pim Dr. Pimple Popper? <laughs> no, a real one, Adam. How dare you? <laughs> I was Have you seen Pim some of the things Pimple she's removed? last night. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my <laughs> mom got me into those too. Can't do it, but <sighs> again, it's like, yeah. Can't watch that. Now you'll scroll like five in a row where you're yeah, like- Yeah, can I change my answer of the job I want? <laughs> yep. Oh my God. You'd be a pimple popper. That looks awesome. Doesn't that look awesome? <sighs> That's your whole job? <laughs> Oh, I'm no. sorry. Do you hate joy? <laughs> you don't. You don't like popping. My own. I won't pop anybody else's. Really? You've never popped a like a significant others. I have. That's what like, I'm saying. I I, I took know. care. Now, of, how big are we talking? Because like some I'm pimple. I've never popper. done like a huge one, but Is, I took care of a blackhead on a boyfriend once, and I think about it all the time. <laughs> I think about that blackhead more than I think about him. <laughs> Get out, everybody. It was so satisfying. <laughs> <laughs>